buddy. Which was just nestled in. He just nestled, bro. He's ready to go. It took him a minute. He said he's ready now. Right. He said he's ready. So Twitch has a new feature today, chat. And you better believe I don't know what to do about it. So uh, basically, you can spend money to put a message on top of chat. Um, and typically, you know, like hype train shit, you know, I just turn those off. This you cannot turn off. But what you can do is set the minimum to a $100. Um, though... When I was about to do that, I was like panicking that somebody would do a hundred dollars just for the bit. So Twitch really trapped me on that one. They successfully trapped me in the bit. So yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put a minimum on that. I'm not, I'm not gonna play Twitch's game. They got me. It's the first time they've really done something like this that is not optional. Pretty crazy. Every other thing, every other dumb thing they add, even even ads, even mid-roll ads, even mid-stream ads are still optional. You opt in on those, you know? Um Yeah, a dollar for a bit? Why not? I'd much, I'd much rather that than $20 for a bit or $100 for a bit, you know? Feels slimy. Yeah, they're, they're clearly trying to find new revenues. They, so the, the, uh, the split on those is 70, 30, which is, you know, the primo, uh, prime of, uh, what they're offering for, you know, the, their new subscriber bonus. Um, so they're like, Hey, you get it. You get more money from these. However, it's also like, uh, yeah, but you're not doing shit. Twitch. <laughs> it's, uh, it's weird. It's a thing. It's my birthday today. Can I get a happy birthday Sonic instead? You cannot, Shabello. You can ask for a birthday for you, but not for Sonic. Amazon needs the money. Well, in a way, it's kind of true. Like, I, I I, think that they still have to figure out how to make Twitch make money. Um, They still, they clearly haven't cracked that yet. Happy birthday, Shabello. Um... Is it really different from gift subs or bits? No, but you know, I also like, I don't like the idea of donations, right? Um, I think it's better than bits because you're not buying like funny money. Yeah, bits are slimier. I kind of agree. Like bits are, you're buying Twitch dollars and then you can only spend them on Twitch. Uh, so yeah, I guess, I guess it's preferable to bits. Gift subs, I kind of like because you're enabling somebody to have the power to not have the ad that runs when you first click on the stream. You're giving someone a gift. Oh, of emotes too. You, they get emotes and they don't have to watch the first ad. Uh, but then um, occasionally chat will give gift subs to people who don't exist or you know aren't actually like watching the channel. Ooh, look at this. You can even do pounds. Amazon's going to have to convert that. Can I get no-no for my eight-year-old son getting head lice from sharing a helmet at baseball practice? Yeah, they tell you not to. No, no. <laughs> they tell you not to. I had to bag up all his stuffed animals and toys. What's that? Hey, what's that? Uh, what's that movie where they got to burn that rabbit? <laughs> Hold on. There were other subs and resubs. What is uh God? 
It ends. They they gotta they gotta burn the the stuffed bunny because a child gets a disease. No no no, not Watership Down, not Dottie Darko. It's a stuffed rabbit. Velveteen rabbit. Yeah yeah yeah. It was lice. I remember this distinctly. Velveteen rabbit. The child gets a lice. They gotta burn the velveteen rabbit. Um, never too old. Thanks for being a 16 monther. Poquito bonito, por favor. Uh, not till the end of the stream. I gotta keep him in good behavior. <laughs> Casey, thank you for being a 34 monther. Hey Kyle, don't forget to randomly read a sentence in this word wrong. I think I did okay. Noah the Nintendo nerd, thanks for being the nine monther. Adita N64, thanks for being a 35 monther. Uh, Final Fantasy 16, solid wonder. You know what? I think wonder was a problem I was having. We were talking, you know, two weeks ago, I was like, I don't know if 16 is like too gritty, too real. You know what I mean? And then, yeah, they provided some wonder for me. I am curious how the story goes, you know? Um, the exchange rate and the timers are fucked up, at least yesterday. So $1 in the Philippines gets you an hour. Somewhere else gets you one minute. I think that's right, though. <laughs> I guess it should be where you're coming from. So if we have a viewer from the Philippines, they should get an hour for their dollar, correct? I got gotcha. you. Linkensky, thanks for being a 28 month. -er. I got the impression you were holding back criticism when you mentioned the wonder of T Tears of the Kingdom despite being your goatee. Is it true? No. Nah. No, it's like... uh. I acknowledge, I want to acknowledge that everything I said that's bad about Tears of the Kingdom is true. It is a poorly conceived story. It is all built on an old world that we've already explored. But uh, despite those things, one of the guess, best games I ever played. Uh, Jabo Abzix for being a 37 month. -er. The Google Translate bit in today's delayed input was the hardest I've laughed in a long time. Excellent episode. Thank you, Jabo Abs. New delayed input up on YouTube. Arctic, thanks for being a 36 month. -er. Thanks, Mucho. Mucho didn't do shit. JM Sebastian, thanks for being a 36 month. -er. Hey, Kyle, just wanted to say thanks for all the streams. Thank you. You're welcome. I guess it is, it's very sweet of Mucho to uh, come up over here, honestly. He came early today. You know, normally it takes him like an hour or two. Sometimes we're in a couple of breaks before he shows up. Um, JM Sebastian, thanks for being a 36-monther. Oh, no, we already did that, did that one. Traveling Snowman, thanks for being a 17-monther. Love your channel, Kyle. Keep up the great work. Thank you. Mimi Moonbeam, thanks for those 10 bits. Deekman. Thanks for being a 14 month or second world map. Thanks for being a 30 month or have you ever experienced feeling like the only exciting new stuff coming out are just remake sequels? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, 2020 in particular. Hell yeah. Yeah. You know, it'll, 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 we need the new generation. The zoomers have to create. It's too late for us. Millennials. We only like old shit. Millennials only reproduce. Uh, DJ slash M, thanks for being a nine monther. So happy we finally get to it. FF16 really stands out among all my favorite games coming this year. Hope we get a few streams since this game is genuinely great. We'll see. The plan is to stream it today and tomorrow, and we'll see at the end of tomorrow if we're streaming it more. Um, Warpipe, thanks for being a 37 monther. Just wanted to thank Mucho for all the streams. And then finally, thank you, Saturn326, for being a brand new subscriber. Yeah, chat. We got to uh we got to chit chat. I know. I know. I'm excited too. I'm excited to finally start, but we do have business. There will be no more Tears of the Kingdom streams. Nintendo announced a bunch of games this week that are coming out this year. No mention of the Pokemon DLC because it was already announced. I was only I was only doing new announcements. Pokemon Pokemon DLC was already announced. So we, once again, we are opening T Docket. Okay, so let's take a look over here. Uh, everything announced. I'm on IGN.com here. 
Super Mario Bros. Wonder, a brand new 2D Mario revealed. The release date is fucking October 20th, 2023. That clearly conflicts with my most anticipated game of the year, Spider-Man 2, on October 20th. Dancing Flower, thanks for being a 34-monther. Final Fantasy XV is underrated. I agree. Thank you. Now, I had planned to do a whole week of Spider-Man 2. The plan was to do a whole week. I actually, I feel like, I feel like, uh, knowing my Twitch channel, knowing this audience, I think most, I think the majority would be interested in watching the Mario stream as opposed to Spider-Man 2. Yogurt Sapien, thank you for being a two-monther. Love that name. <laughs> Even though I think you told me I came up with it somehow. Um, you would vote Spider-Man? Let's do it. Let's put up the poll. Let's put up a poll. Let's put up a poll. I'll do it. I'll, I'll cook that up right now. Stand by. Why not cook up a poll? Let the lighthouse lurkers get a get a voice in here too. Which would you rather watch? Spider Man Two, Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Which would you rather watch, Kyle's stream? Okay. Pulls open. No, these votes are free. I don't know where you read that. It's it's free to vote on this. <laughs> are there escalators in Spider-Man 2? Can I be honest with you? I bet there's zero escalators. I bet that would take so long to make sure it works. Um, Level 3 Mike thinks for being a 37-monther. Free to vote, but I'm still willing to sell my vote. No, I don't think you can do that. So what's really good about this is that we're getting a nice, clear, decisive victory. <laughs> I'm really glad we had this poll because it's really settled things here. <laughs> I think we'll do both. Fuck. Fuck. I thought, I really thought... Mario Bros. Wonder would wash it. I thought it would wash it. So I think what we're going to do is um, Spidey Day 1, Mario Day 2, and then we won't do Week of Spider-Man. You know what I mean? We just I just won't dedicate a whole week to Spider-Man 2. Spidey Saturday to let people catch up. Mm, yeah, I hear you, but then I'm only playing Spider-Man for six hours. My mom says it's okay, I can watch, as long as there's no F-words. Not only are there going to be F-words from me, but there are going to be F-words from Final Fantasy. We've already heard them. Tree Fox, we can't make that promise to you. Start early? Yeah, maybe we just go late. I like Saturdays. Saturdays, it's it's honestly nice to start late on Saturdays. All right, so let's uh let's add Super Mario Bros. Wander to the docket as well. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Whether this has to be like some sort of open relationship or something, we'll figure it out. Okay. Super Mario RPG Remake. Are we streaming this shit? Look at this shit. Yeah, I could see us streaming a full playthrough. What does November look like? Oh, we got Yakuza. 
But I feel like if we're being honest, uh, a Mario RPG playthrough would do better than a Yakuza playthrough. And here's the thing, I really do like that game. All right. Sorry, uh, that was November 17th. Uh, it gives me a little bit of a time to figure out what Mallow sounds like. Yeah, honestly, I think Yakuza works for a one Friday. Have you addressed calling it New Super Mario Bros? No, I've not. Where nobody calls it that. Mallow does not sound like Sheldon. You put marshmallows in your mouth. Now that I'm down for. Gino, I think, is harder. I think Gino, the voice of Gino is harder than the voice of Mallow. Everybody knows who Mallow sounds like. Oh, Mario, I'm just not confident. You know what I mean? Oh, I don't know where my family's from. You know, that kind of thing. Gino is the tough one to figure out. Gino has to sound cool. Timbery. Okay, yeah, that, that's one we'll work on. Voice Gino like a robot. Oh, I don't feel like that's right. Is that how you read Gino? Can I get no, no, no idea, but how, but I got super bad lower back pain. Getting older sucks. Yeah. <laughs> Gino as Vegeta would be pretty good, especially if we don't get a Dragon Ball Z game out this year. Okay. It's settled. Gino sounds like Vegeta. Vegino. Is this something? Stand by. <laughs> I don't like how Vegino sounds. Um, Alien Monkey has an oh no. I missed it. There it is. Hey Kyle, can I get an oh no for the Spider-Man ride having to be evacuated six times in a day? The guests were clearly not amused when I pinned the reason on scroll agents. Now this oh no is for both of you. Oh no! The scroll, the the uh, uh, secret invasion series is for adults only. You don't bring up secret invasion in front of families. <laughs> there's a clip of Gino moving his lips. Do you think there's a chance there's at least limited voice acting? Ooh, I like that. No, I didn't see that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Limited voice acting. I'm into it. Soft bet. Will the entire Peach game be set on a stage for the entire game, or will it just be a theme of one of its worlds? Ooh, I'm saying whole game. I'm going to say whole game. That'd be cool if it's just one of its worlds. That would make me happy, but... Um... Yeah, I had to I had to skip the intro of Secret Invasion, which I mean isn't unusual. I skip a lot of intros, but it is like uh early AI, the like the weird kind of like It's it's ugly, bro. It's ugly. But you know that I'm watching that whole show. I got to keep up on my MCU chat. Last level, Peach breaks away from the set and actually has to save the day. Oh, that'd be that'd be so sick. Yeah, what if what if it's like um Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. What if it's like The Truman Show? Holy shit. I could not drag that one out. So what if it's like Truman Show, right? And the whole premise is that like um like these toads are just trying to like make Princess Peach feel like a hero. And so like she doesn't even realize she's in a play until she breaks out. That'd be sick as hell. Yeah. Thanks for trying to help, chat. But I knew I knew I had to get that one on my own. Thoughts on Secret Invasion? I thought it was pretty good. Oh, I did I did not think it was pretty good. I think I think it matches up to the quality of MCU on Disney Plus is what I would say about it. 
Congrats on the new season of Delayed Input. Thank you. All right, Detective Pikachu 2, October 6th. Do we have anything else on that day? Because I don't want to stream that. You don't. October 6th is completely clean. Fuck. Fine. Sorry, sorry, Tree Fox. There's our first fuck. Um, Detective Pikachu returns. What was it, October 6th? Yeah, October 6th. Okay. You love this game? I don't even know what you do. I don't even know what you do in this game. Thinking back on it now, I think we had our first fuck when we looked at the release date for Super Mario Bros. Wonder. I can't believe this day. Sign the consonant. Thank you for gifting that gift sub. But like, uh, I mean, do you go to a crime scene and do you like click on things or do you interrogate Pokemon? What is, what is the actual function of the game? You walk around and question people or Pokemon to solve a mystery. Okay. <laughs> Crazed. I'm going to, I was about to read that comment, but it was going to double our F count. Um, <laughs> all right, let's move on. Can I get an oh yeah for finally making it through all three seasons of I Think You Should Leave? It's not my cup of tea, but after cringing through the first episode, I finally started to enjoy it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a big oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sorry, chat. I got an ant on the desk. One ant never seems isolated, you know what I mean? You see one ant, you're like, oh, okay, here they come. One by one, hurrah, you know what I mean? Like, you know the ants are coming. Uh, Metal Gear Solid is already on there. Zelda Amiibo, let's not be concerned about it. Secret Invasion. Um, WarioWare Move It, November 6th. This is streaming material, dude. Yeah, you can't ask for a better stream than this. That's easy. November 6th? Yeah, and in fact, if it's down to Yakuza or War... Well, here's the thing. I'm not going to fucking wiggle for eight hours. So sorry. We had another F. I'm not going to literally wiggle for six hours. You know what I mean? So, uh, <laughs> maybe we'll, we'll pack it in with a, with a, <laughs> with some other game. Metal Gear Solid needs the date. Oh, I didn't realize there was no date on that before. Okay, cool. Uh, what is it called? Move it. And the YouTube comments let me know that it's called Super Smooth Moves in Japan. So it's like a direct sequel. Uh, that was November 6th. And then Metal Gear Solid has a date, which is bad. Tree Fox, thanks for being a 16-month or grounded. You had it coming. We warned you. Dad. WarioWare is the third, not the sixth. You're telling IGN they got it wrong? I trust you, Crazed. You better write an email to IGN. Um, okay, so we're going to do something unconventional here, chat. We're going to drop this down to the holodocket. Metal Gear Solid will be our Christmas time game. Yeah. Exactly. Especially if it's coming out the same week as Spider-Man 2 and, and Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Just not happening. Just not happening. No time, brother. WarioWare Move It is not far away. Sonic Superstars got a leaked date, which is October 17th. 
Okay, well, I will have to be honest with you. Given the option, I would take uh, Coward of Dreams over that. How'd they leak that date? They had a whole show today. Cavern of Dreams is a uh, what a, a a weird rising game genre that I'm in love with, which is throwback N64 games. Cavern of Dreams is a is a absolute Nintendo 64 game platformer. MGS Collection even comes with the MSX and NES version of the Metal Gear games. Um, not only that, it has the shamed non-canon sequel that came out on Nintendo. What was the $10 Comet? Oh, okay. Well, I won't say it. I won't say it. I see. And so, like, the, it's weird. You can, like, click on it. It just has the first two letters of your username. You click on it, and uh, there's a timer. So the more money you spend, the longer your comet stays up there. That's just wild. Yeah, you want to see this? We must have... You know what? I don't think we even really watched this trailer too much. This was just such an auto-in for me. That when we were doing the docket, I was just like, yeah, obviously this is in. In fact, I don't want to uh, see too much. But you get what I'm saying. This They made a Nintendo 64 game. So I, I really like that kind of thing. Yeah. Very banjo, exactly. Okay. Pikmin 4 controversially was removed from the docket. Oh, yeah, we should be on just chatting right now. Yeah. We should be. Let me fix that. Stand by. I feel like anybody really hoping for FF16 right now is so... They're like, you know, bopping their knees just waiting for the killing to start. We kept them around with our F-bombs, but uh, you can only do that for so long. Um, okay, so, Pikmin. July 21st. That's our primary issue, is that this is going to be right in the middle of when we are doing, um, the Game Jam. Viewfinder's got a shot. It does. No, it doesn't. Because July 17th is when the Game Jam ends, and then the next stream after that is the first time I stream. That's right. Ed Wayne, thanks for being a 21 monther. Is it different now that Pikmin has indoors? It's uh, it's not. There is one word that sold me on Pikmin 4. You're not gonna like it, chat. But there is one word that went changed me from off of Pikmin to into Pikmin. Upgrade. The game has upgrades. You can do upgrades at the base camp. That's all it takes for me. So even if you have even if you have a bad Pikmin day, you know what I mean? The sun rises and sets, a lot of Pikmin died, you're still going to be making some progress that turned you off. That's funny. Yeah, that's all I need is ga in games is upgrades. <laughs> yeah, that's what it changed from roguelike to roguelite is when they said the word upgrade. Hello? Is this the IGN video player that they always complain about? Is this what it's like? Hello? IGN.com? Okay. Um. <laughs> so yeah, I think honestly, like I'm not positive we'll sneak it in. Especially if, you know, Game Jam st stretches to three full days. Like, we might, it might just, you know, come and go. But I am finally interested in Pikmin, knowing that it's got a, it's got a loop, dude. 
It's got a loop. You got your daytime, you got your nighttime, and wake up in the morning, you go and get your upgrades. And then you got a daytime, you got a nighttime, wake up, get your upgrades. I know that's shallow. I know that's shallow. Why is everybody saying cheat? A thought, if you dislike playing ads, mark your channel with tags that are bad for advertisers. Like swearing, etc. Should in theory give you less ads. No, it just gives you different kinds. Uh, basically, like there will always be pre-roll ads when you first click on the channel if you're not a subscriber. The optional ads are the ones that interrupt the stream. Where you're watching somebody stream, they're they're in a fighting match, and then suddenly it's like pressure cooker coming on it. <laughs> Sorry, chat. That happened to me a lot this week. Watching Street Fighter 6 and just hearing this weird Taco Bell ad about a pressure cooker. I'm glad some other people know it, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Driving me crazy. Pikmin 1? Hey, believe me, I thought about it. But if we're going to stream Pikmin 4, I feel like Pikmin 1 would be redundant. But yeah, Pikmin 1 and 2 straight up just on the Switch today fun um but also like to me kind of a dump the guitar riff i'm so glad there are other people in chat who know exactly what i've been going through pigeon game no way the pigeon rhythm game honestly uh i don't have the memory for it you watch, basically, they, sh they showed it. They showed, like, okay, uh, it's it's fun. It's a knockout. It's basically, like, Fall Guys, but rhythm games. And um, sometimes it's about hitting the piano keys in order. And it's like, I, I lost it, man. You know what I mean? It's like, bing, bong, bong, bang, bong, 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 bong. Okay, now you go. And I'm like, what? What? And everybody else is going to be like, bing, bong, 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 bing, bong, bong. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm going to, you know. Embarrass myself. Jab webs, you found it. Actually, hold up. Let me click on that without having window capture open. That link could have been anything. <laughs> I've heard that song so many times. Oh my God. Oh my God. Holy shit. Okay. Oh my God. It's driving me crazy. I'm about, yeah, I'm about to get Twitch prime. I'm about to pay $10 a month just to not hear that one commercial. Um, <laughs> ALB, thanks for being a four month there. Hey Kyle, thanks for all you do. Just happy to have your content on a weekly basis for these past few years. Going to enjoy your final fantasy stream. So we'll catch the VODs once I played more. Hell yeah. Understood. Turbo, excuse me. Yeah, when I said Prime, I meant Turbo. It's worth it. Yeah, it's worth it if you if you are into several streamers, right? If you're a one or two streamer person, not worth it. Not factually worth it. If you if you're gonna be bopping around a lot and you just like want to watch multiple Street Fighter Six players, you know what I mean? It's watch that Taco Bell commercial many many times or. Pony up. Dangerous side forever. Thanks for being a four month there. My pleasure to give you a prime sub every so often. <laughs> and then a monkey face. I like that. Bronco up. I mean, ad blocker wouldn't even fix it. I mean, most, most of the time it's like second screen viewing on my TV. You know what I mean? Through the PS5 app, which does not have an ad blocker. You, are, you bounce around between streams a lot, so it's very worth it. Yeah, maybe I'll be there. Maybe I'll be right there. And also, um, how do I pronounce Kamek? Now it's comic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair question to bring up in this moment. The doofy VO announcer uh, did indeed say comic. 
And God, I, I swear even like in the Mario movie, it's like, thank you, Kamek. You know what I mean? Can I trust an announcer? I feel like I can trust an announcer more than I can trust Jack Black. I don't know. I don't know what to do about it. Even Krista was confused. Oh. Maybe he went rogue on this one. Maybe he went rogue on that one. Maybe it's still Kamek. We'll wait. We'll 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 uh we'll flag this. Chat flag this? I'm seeing, sorry, I'm sorry that there was a long pause there. I'm seeing a lot of things in chat about it. Like, you look up the names in Japanese if they are the same. Yeah, but, like, um, this is where I would always fight with Bloodworth. Is because Lakitu is not Lakitu's name in Japanese. So Bloodworth was like, ah, uh, Lakitu, Right? That's how you would pronounce it in Japanese. But it's like, Bloodworth, it's not a Japanese word. But we're saying comic is the same in Japanese and English, so perhaps, perhaps we have to say comic. Rumor for MK8 DLC is July 13th to go up with the update of Mario Kart Tour. I wonder why they wouldn't just say that, though. All they said was summer. <laughs> All they said was released this summer. I'm like, what? So, yeah, maybe the goal is July 19th and they're having a hard time hitting it or something. We'll see. We'll be streaming it. It's Kamaku in Japan from Kame, which is turtle. Shit. All right. Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon remastered. Uh, We probably... Shit. I would actually love to replay that game. Reaction to bathroom track. Fuck. Can I tell you something? It didn't hit me. It didn't touch me. That's so crazy. Yeah, if you ask me, Kyle, what deserved an F-bomb? Oh my god, I'm out of control today. I'm really, I'm just letting them slip right out today. Um, if you ask me, even directly after watching that Nintendo Direct, what is the new Mario Kart track? I wouldn't have been able to tell you. Wow, I gotta reanalyze that. I gotta watch that again. Yeah, Dark Moon is the 3DS game, and it's the one where there's multiple mansions, basically. I think there's five different mansions you go to. So it's, uh, I feel like this would be a really good stream, depending when it comes out. We'll see. Maybe it's a nod to Pikmin. It's actually not the first, uh, tiny carts in a big world, a big regular world track. There's, like, uh, the kids' toy room. Which is a really good uh, Mario Kart 8 track, actually. Vampire Survivor is not on this channel. Ribbon Road. Yeah, hell yeah. Dragon Quest Monsters The Dark Prince. December 1st is fairly open. <laughs> but I'm not putting this on the docket. I gotta? I don't want to. I really don't. I don't really don't want to. No, I only I only have full rights to Dark Prince, the Dark Prince of nerd media. You know what I mean? Like there are many Dark Princes out there, thousands even. I think this game looks like pretty bad. When I watch the trailer again, it's like, man, this is a uh, low grade. 
And, uh... I mean, you can see the creature before you on the right. The, the, the IGN video player was not functioning for us, but, uh... This thing has already been transfused. <laughs> it would not normally have wings like these. Um... I think we got a pass. However, we don't have shit for December 1st. We'll put it on provisionally. No, no, we'll still be playing Mario RPG. Provisionally, I'm not putting it on. I don't want to. I don't want to. I really don't want to. Okay. All right, fine. This game is getting skipped. Fire Emblem GBA I've already played. That would not be the thing that uh, pulls me in. Someday I will subscribe to Nintendo Switch Online Plus. I'm just not there yet, chat. We think we have the release date from this because of Amazon, but, you know, that could change too. That's probably why they didn't announce it. What do we think about uh, Star Ocean's second story R? I think this is a no stream, but I'm kind of curious what you all think about it. Is This is the best Star Ocean? There's a moment in this trailer where I'm super in and then they show the combat. And it is like Xenoblade. It's crazy. Everyone's like, Egg Slash! And power up! I've got your back! And then it's like, and in the lower left-hand corner, you can use moves from four players who are not even in your party. So they're just like, numbers, numbers, blah, 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 blah. Take my blade. By the time you subscribe to the expansion pack, you'll have spent more money on multiple DLC packs that come with it. No, 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 no. Because once you up and sub, they would take that shit away from you. Skip if no foam. I didn't see any foam. I didn't see any foam. It's weird. It's, uh, the game has, the original game has pre-rendered backgrounds that look really nice, you know? Uh, sub forever for the forever DLC. Do you know how scary the phrase sub forever is to me? Arkham I skipped. No, you know, I would, I would be, I would be in if this was the quadrilogy. The, like, Rocksteady truly dismisses Arkham Origins. Nellhawk, thanks for being a 24-month or congrats on the two years. You gonna replay any of those DLCs, though? I th in Mario Kart's case, yes. They snub it. Repeatedly snubbed. And it's the only one that I've never played, and it's the only one that I would really love to play right now, you know? Star Ocean 2 is the reason that NX and Square combined. Maybe only in my heart, but I think I remember that being the case. What? Hell no. Square and NX combined is because of Square losing money making that Final Fantasy movie. It's backwards compatible on Xbox. That might be the way we finally play it. General Acceptance uh, Star Ocean 2 was the best, even when it did have one of the worst English VO in games during that time, huh? Is the vanilla version of the game, do they do the Xenoblade stuff? Arkham Origins is on Steam. Now that's the way to play it, dude. See the rumors of Metal Gear Solid Collection Volume 2 being 4, Peace Walker, and 5? It seems pretty legit, which is big news for MGS4. Yeah, because I had also seen rumors that 4 would not be included. Uh, I would replay 4. I think it'd be super fun. Um, Obvious skip here. This game looks like shit. <laughs> This game, this game is getting such a persona pass. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> because it stars your beloved persona characters. Yeah, I gotta play that. 
All right. What makes Collection Volume 2 worth it if it doesn't have four? Exactly. Um, it'd be cool. So, I mean, Volume 1 has got some pretty crazy stuff on it. Just talk talking about those NES games. Um... If Volume 2 could have all the PSP games, if it could do Acid 1 and Acid 2, I think that'd be pretty special. It worked for Rabbids. Uh, I don't think we'll be streaming this thing, the Saturday morning cartoon roguelike. Mario and Rabbids of Sparks of Hope is a proud skip. You know what I mean? I proudly skipped this game last year, and I feel great about it today. <laughs> Didn't need to give that game a second of my time. Mmm, Ghost Babel, I forgot. That's a good game. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Volume 2 needs that too. Splatoon 3's next Splat Splatfest is gonna be pretty cool. No, pretty sweet, is what he said. She's got uh, the same eyes as that new Sonic character. Yep. No cozies. We don't stream cozy here. Penny. Penny and this octopus have the same eyes. Squid. Just Dance will not be streamed. I have a theory that Splatoon 3's DLC will be shadow dropped at championships like Octo Expansion was. When are the championships? Penny is next year. We don't have to worry about her. You're right. Penny looks pretty cool. Yeah, I think this is going to be a really good stream. Uh, Chad, if you missed it, it's a 3D platformer where, like, the levels, I feel like they're like a Sega Saturn Sonic design, you know? Like, the levels look crazy. Nintendo Live. So you think it'll drop during Nintendo Live? There, there's a lot of Sonic going on in the game. Yeah, it looks cool. No cozy and no scary? Yeah, we only deal with the in-between. What lies between cozy and scary? <laughs> Do you believe they wouldn't add chocolate ice cream to the Splatfest because it, no, no, no. They did they added the three colors to the Splatfest because they looked nice. Forgot about Silent Hope. Yeah, 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 yeah. This this is exactly it's crazy that this is right where it is. This is like ba ba ba. Boppy bop bo boop. Now you go. And you're like, what? And every every other person's like, bop bop boop. Boppy bop bop boop. They passed, <laughs> you know? Uh, Moody Party, thanks for being a 36 month or already three years. It's crazy. It's crazy. Funnily enough, the team I am in for the game jam are trying to find the cozy, scary balance. I am but one judge. Important to remember. You don't have to win me over with your Game Jam game. I am one of many judges. So yeah, absolutely. Go Cozy Scary. <laughs> Manic Mechanics, no chance. Hot Wheels Unleashed 2 over my dead body. Uh-uh. Oh, that's it. Okay. Good job, IGN. All right, so we added a lot of games to the docket. We really did. Did I see the Goemon game? Yeah, it was shared on the Discord. I, uh... I think the camera's too far away. Your character's too damn small on the screen. Yeah, the poor Legacy Docket. We were doing so good at the beginning of the year getting through the Legacy Docket. Now, I don't I don't know if we'll even get to Sonic Adventure 2. Show the trailer for chat. Give me a link. Were we? Yeah, we were plowing through that bad boy. Knocking off Legacy Docket games. Bop, 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 bop. Stream Sonic Adventure 2 instead of the new Sonic? Uh, hell no. 
Play the dough. Thanks for being a six monther. Shouts out to Sonic thir turning 32. No, I can see Jabberwabs. I can see Taco Bell in the URL. <laughs> <laughs> have I seen that little kitty devs are already working on fixes? I have not. Until uh until they get the Damiani's approval. I'm out. Alright, so this is the game that's got chat excited. Lots of cool shit here, right? Lots of cool shit. Look how much character this game has. Oh my god, you got transformations. But then, I mean, look at all this space. Look at all that space. Look at this space. Look at all this space. I need that camera to be closer, dude. Tuck in. You got my hoats up chat? This isn't Goemon. But I think it's like, I think it's a lot of the people who made those games are involved with this one. But yeah, it's not it. It's exactly. It's, 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 it's hey, this looks way more creative and fun than most of the games that come out today. But also, look at that screenshot. Tell me this looks perfect to you. You know? It doesn't look meh. I wouldn't say meh, but I would say imperfect. <laughs> um, Yeah, let me see if I can pull up the Mario Kart trailer. Perfect doesn't exist. Perfect frequently exists, chat. Ooh, the Detective Pikachu key art is nice. I'm I'm right now. I'm looking on the uh, Japanese uh, Nintendo YouTube channel, looking for the Mario Kart trailer. I wonder how bearable their announcer is. There it is. Um, Japanese YouTube channel has Mario Kart Eight. Very loud. Way nicer thumbs. Much, much nicer thumbnails. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Course 3 Pass 5th Dan Ni Kanzen Shinki Course to Naru Chabon Road Ga Tojao. Oh, yeah, this is a nice looking stage. It does have a lot of uh, low poly crumminess, no doubt. There is some foaminess. Mario Kart 7 Gara Hana Chan. I heard comic. The fan was really low poly. Yeah, they make those, uh, they make them to run on the mobile game. Yeah, I was looking when I was looking at the thumbnails, I saw anime life. Nintendo Switch de Jinsei game. Koma o sumeru tabi ni jibun ga seichou shite iku. Shigoto ni senmen suru mo yoshi. Kazoku o kizuku mo yoshi. Un mo tayori ni anata nari no jinsei o ayunde iku. Life's, a, life's like a fun game to play with like one friend. There are not a lot of board games that are like fun heads up. 1v1 me at life, bro. But life is like a, an imagination game. You know what I mean? It's like a who are you going to marry kind of game. You know what I mean? Life's cute. Cute game. 
Life is a terrible board game? No, you gotta buy into it. You just gotta buy into the world. We've only played two Legacy Docket games, Digimon World 3 and Wheelman. Are you dead serious? I thought we were flying through that list. <laughs> Digimon World 3 took a long time. That was weeks and weeks and weeks. That is a long video game. I paused the stream to go to the bathroom and I got the pressure cooker ad. <laughs> My God. Where's Radiata? Monday. Radiata Monday, baby. Uh, today, Final Fantasy 16. Tomorrow, Final Fantasy 16. Monday, Radiata. Okay, mature audiences. I haven't been following Microsoft FTC thing too closely. I think uh, generally my understanding is the FTC will lose, uh, but they they did whatever they had to do. You know what I mean? And that the uh, CMA uh, is still up in the air. Nobody knows about the CMA. Chad, what happens? Thanks for getting that gift sub. This might be next Friday. It could potentially be next Friday if we're really loving this. Yep. Can you put age restriction on the stream? That's automatic now. So if I'm streaming a game that's rated M for mature, Twitch knows that. And they're like, hey, I think I think if you logged in right now, Twitch would be like, hey, this game's rated M. So look out. I'm cool with that. I'm way cool with that. I think that's the way to do it. I think that's a, uh, you know, that's, that's, that's Twitch's responsibility almost. You don't have to trust the viewers. And then like on the, on the streamer side, I don't have to say whether I'm a violent streamer, yes, no. And then click that on or off, depending on what, what I'm streaming at the time. You know what I mean? For that to be automated? Hell yeah. Move the camera down so we can see boss health. I'll move it down four bosses. It's the only time it matters though. So I, don't, I feel like it's not worth it to have it down here because here's the thing, chat. This game has good camera work. If I'm here, I'm like actually fucking up their framing. There's like there's a character's head right here, you know? Um, I'd prefer to be out of the way. Just tuck me in up here. And then if there is a boss fight, remind me and I'll go back down a little bit. Do they ask if you're a toxic streamer? No. Side quest love. Thanks for being a 30 mother. First time I've caught a stream live in a while, so I'll just wish Kyle a very enthusiastic que for this playthrough. Oh, we'll be quieting today. We'll be pecking. Yeah, we'll be resuming from where the demo left off. Um, Recap. This man in front of you was once a prince. His name's Clive. He used to be a prince. So his dad was king, his mom queen, obviously, but uh, he's the elder of the king's sons. There's two sons, right? Joshua is the, is the younger one. Now, normally the elder gets to be king. However, in this fantasy realm, uh, there are summons called icons. And if the icon doesn't If you can't suck the icon into your body, if you can't sponge it in, you don't get to be king. And uh, apparently Clive tried to soak in Phoenix and was unable to. So he's not destined to be king. His younger brother was able to successfully soak in Phoenix and then became a holder, I think they're called, meaning you've got a summon inside your body. You are an ultra-powerful weapon of mass destruction in this world. 
You are political influence. You are the thing that protects this nation. Um, dominant, dominant. You're called a dominant if you have a, a summon inside of you. Um, Ridnar, thanks for being, thank you for being an 18 monther. I got to a very uncomfortable sex scene in the demo, and it was so bad I was immediately out on the whole game. Oh, Ridnar. That it was just about to end. Nobody got any there. That scene was just about to end. Clive, the, the man you see before you, his dad and his mom. His mom was trying to seduce the dad, but he was just not in the mood that night. She was very disrespectful to Clive. Because he couldn't because he could not be a dominant, he was looked at as a failure. So like you have this cool royal family, and then you have like a weird failure in there. She didn't like having him around. Um so unfortunately there are many people who want to rule this world and the problem with the kingdom of Clive's dad Clive the guy you see before you they don't have a crystal somehow they built their entire nation without even having their own crystal legacy of the crystals has shaped our history for long enough is the tagline of this game um so they got by just through trade relationships basically just through just through politics um, but that was a uh, uh, unsure footing. You know what I mean? It, it was it was it was easy to tear down. All it took was someone on the inside, and so the implication was at the end of this demo that a foreign power struck a deal with the queen. Who, you know what? Didn't love her family that much. Uh, she revealed the location of the king who got stabbed and the little boy Joshua, the dominant, who was about to get stabbed. But then he got mad and he activated his rage powers, which made his summon come out. So he started raging, killing, you know, people who were close to him. You know what I mean? He was, he was in no control. And then Clive, the guy you see before you, who was not a dominant, he's like, oh, this is making me mad now. And then it turns out he is a dominant of Ifrit, another fire icon. In this world, that makes no sense. Only one icon can exist for each element. How could there possibly be two fire icons? Not a bit. This, uh, this all happened. Now... Clive was 15 at the time. He also could not control his icon powers. Um, so he did murder his brother in icon form. It was two summons fighting each other, but there were human bodies inside of those summons. He murdered his brother. He wakes up. His queen mother is there about to say like kill clive i don't like him but then she was like well i guess he is like a good soldier let him live and then that is where we left off the organization 13 creep before clive transformed whispered something to clive and then he had the headache so it's possible that that cloaked figure brought the ifrit out you know it's possible very, very possible. But that's where we are up to this point. No legs, the pirate thinks being a four monther. Can I just start with F16? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Recommended, in fact. You don't have to know shit about Final Fantasy to hop into any Final Fantasy. Unless it's like 13 2, 13 3, right? Unless it's like X2. Any mainline Final Fantasy that is just a number, no subtitle, you can hop in. It's They're all original stories. All original characters, all original worlds. No ties between them, officially. Square should cut that awesome recap and put it in the main game. <laughs> yeah, they should. I think that's pretty much it. That's where we're going to be hopping into the story. We had Rhythm Heaven, Rhythm Heaven Fever, Power Rangers the movie. That was on the docket. Power Rangers was on the docket. 
Skylander supercharged, lots of crazy castle, lots of siphon filter. Yep, very true. Power Rangers was on the docket, I remember, actually. So we've done three docket games. <laughs> Didn't man mention what's happening present day with the Battle of Shiva and Titan. Oh, that's right. Um, we're like a mercenary today. God, I love these. It's, you know, those are Final Fantasy VI sprites, dude. Um, so I shouldn't have put 300 hours into Final Fantasy XIV to prepare for this? No. You might be musically prepared. Yeah, we have a tattoo that anybody who has magic has. And if you can use magic, basically, you are seen by the elites, the wealthy, as... Uh, uh, a valuable worker. Basically, you must use your magic to light their fireplaces and wash their pans. You're essentially a slave. Yeah. Uh, you are much, much less than if you have the power to use magic. <laughs> Hold on. Kirk, this sounds like the opposite of what I like. There's an option that wasn't in the demo. It means the camera turns around when you kill an enemy to focus on the next one. Oh, yeah. You know I never want that. Anytime camera control is robbed from me, I'm upset. That's why I don't even like to lock on. Yeah, so we're a mercenary in a battle right now um, where I think it's our goal to kill someone else's uh, uh, dominant. However, they have both digivolved. So now we've got icons shiva and titan just railing on each other uh hard to say who's gonna win there but you know we're not really a factor in that battle i think we're just gonna see how it plays out <laughs> claiming redeemable items additional content is now available for redemption these items can be claimed from the system tab in the main menu well shit tell me that before i hit continue god damn it <laughs> Tell me that before. In-game menu. Oh, okay, okay. All right, so uh, Titan was tossing, knocking some rocks around. Squash one of our mercenary buddies. Welcome back. We all have dragon names because we're like the Reservoir Dogs. Situation. Let's just say Shiva and Titan's little spat. A little more volume? Made things any easier. And it's as you thought. The Crusaders have sounded the retreat. More boost. Then we follow. We're down a man, Sergeant. If we return without Shiva's head, our fate will be no different from Beast's. I'll take my chances with the Iron Blood. At least then I might die fighting. After you do. That is. Damn. All right. I won't be dying. Game's looking good today, Not bro. Today. Then it's settled. Nice shine on that sword. Now, if you don't mind, we have an army to chase. Holy shit! Awoken. New iconic abilities. Iconic abilities, Scarlet Cyclone, Heat Wave for the Phoenix are now available for acquisition and upgrade on the abilities tab in the main menu. Do not forget that once acquired, new abilities can be equipped. Okay. How do they expect us to kill some? First, let's get my content, bro. Scholar Spectacles increases EXP by 10% worth the pre-order, brother. Increases Gil by 20 25%? Kachi, you treat me too well. Braveheart Weapon. Okay.
The sword looks silly. We don't have to use it. It doesn't make sense for us to have a non-canonical sword. The spectacles were digital only pre-order. The other two came with physical. Physical was left out of the one pre-order bonus. So weird. That's so weird. Pursue the retreating army. Does that mean Shiva's losing this battle? Let me get those specs on, bro. Ooh, the new sword is much better. Let's just, it can't hurt to take a peek. All right, a new iconic ability. Oh, I see, they're up here. There we go. We were talking about how the skill tree seems a little short. Executing a dodge with R1 at the moment of an enemy attack not only increases evasion efficacy, but also allows for counterattacks. Do I got the points? You don't got you don't got the points. Okay, I really want that actually. We're gonna be saving points for a minute. I don't like these dorky wings. Take these dorky wings! I'll wait for a summon I care about. I don't really want Phoenix shit. Bad memories. I mean, this one's probably pretty good because it uh, restores some HP, but look at how many ability points it costs. It'll be a second till we're there. Press triangle to see what your upgrades actually do for abilities? How do you mean? No, this that, that that's like too much. Spoiler disclaimers? Yeah, like I'll be asking questions, chat. Um, don't tell, don't tell me or chat about anything that hasn't happened yet. We're not, we don't want to know. <laughs> we don't want to know till we see it. However, I do appreciate when you fill me this, in on things that are happening currently. Only the girl holding its leash. It wasn't clear to me in the intro whether this team was hired to kill Titan or Shiva. Oh yeah, that sword is too dorky. You're right. It's not worth the bonus. That's the pre-order sword and everybody knows it. Okay. Beetle Adventure Racing we got from the docket. Yeah, we were doing well. The first line of the game is, the target is Shiva's dominant. <laughs> Okay, chat. Like, I was paying attention. So anyway, that's why I appreciate chat filling me in on shit. All the old trails are gone. It'll be hell finding a way out. Do you think a retreating army and their dominant will fare any better? Cool, dude. You got to appreciate the power of two icons here. This is what they do to a battlefield. This is what I'm talking They're weapons of mass destruction. All you need is two icons. Oh, yeah, we can sad. check. Uh, I do like the active lore. What do we need here? I think we read a bunch of these already. Actually, I wouldn't mind the location lore. Deep arid valley located in the eastern part of the Dalmechian Republic. During the Battle of the Twin Realms in 865, it was a site of repeated skirmishes. Yeah, we read this one early, early, early. Holy shit, dude. Yeah, like, I don't care to click on the blue dot on Clive. 
you know. Is it safe to say Yoshi P has helped save Final Fantasy? Helped? Yes. You hit chat, you'll hate this. I still think Nomura has been more important for the success of Final Fantasy than Yoshi P. Alright, well chat didn't just for the record, chat didn't hate that. <laughs> Baro, thank you for being a six-mother. <laughs> you miss Sakaguchi's games? Get yourself an iPad. Does Square consider uh, 15 a success? I think it's the best-selling Final Fantasy game ever. I think 15 is a great success. Do I know how much 14 makes? Did you hear that? True. I bet 14 has made more money than 15. No doubt. Fair enough point. So, Titan has knocked the fight out of our iron blood friends. Where are the rest of them? That can't be the main host. Wait. Our fortunes have turned, Sergeant. It's her. That's the dominant? dominant? Are you certain? The crystalline orthodoxy it's is a backwards her. faith for a backwards people. In the Iron Kingdom, they teach that dominance are unclean aberrations, born of blackest sin. Only their priests are allowed to perform the rites of priming. And I see many. We end this quickly. We're gonna go slaughter their priests. And then that poor woman? And that poor woman is our sister Jill. Oh, okay. No, no, no. Jill's the primer. She's the priest. The little girl's the dominant? I don't know what priming means. Fight Alvation now, King. Alad Scully. Priming means become icon. Okay. Let this be the end. Avis! Game's looking good today, bro. Um, Ika Z, thanks for being a six monther. Thank you for the great streams and YouTube content. Happy to provide, brother. Some iron blood? Gladly. Wipe it. You focus on the target. So what was it again? Was it? Yeah, that is. Hell no. I refuse. Oh, shit. I abstain. Looks like we really have to chop her, dude. This sucks. Alright, alright. 
much appreciated this time. It's clear we're not gonna kill her. She's got too much of a health bar. Last time I swore she dashed during Bulletaga. I promised you one thing, chat. I promised one thing. So sorry. Oh, I guess you can see her health bar above her head anyway. It's not a huge deal, is it? I feel like you could definitely two phase her though, huh? I feel like you like a lot of damage on her phase. At last. Yeah, stagger gauge visible anyway, yeah. I think it's maybe like during the icon battles you want to see this health bar. Okay, that was good Good getting back into it. Good getting back into it. Yeah, I don't think that was meant to be a tough fight. You said you weren't depleting the HB hot part. Yeah, it seemed... At the beginning of the fight, that seemed way too big. That's true. And as she fought, she shed tears of ice, which shattered on the blood-stained earth below. All right. <laughs> okay. We got all our potions back, which is nice. I swore that was Jill. It looks like that really just is a, a woman we murdered. Is she dead? I don't think so. Well... What are you waiting for? She's not dead.
tears of ice. No, no, that. Clive, we gotta you. stop doing this, bro. Not here. You gotta stop this shit. I'll bloody do it then. <laughs> Oh, bloody do it then. I will not forget about active time, Lord. Fuck. No need right now. We've got company, Wyvern. Hey, we're just going to take your uh, WMD. What are you doing? We're just gonna Don't walk go away with her. Get your ass over here and help me with these bastards. I'm sorry, Jill. Why'd they stop throwing axes? That seemed hyper effective. <laughs> what is wrong with you, Wyvern? Dominant. I miss my Efreet powers, those were cooler. Know her. Look around you! Do you think any of these animals care? I need you here! Good shit. <laughs> It's over. <laughs> Shit is the name of that trophy. That's funny. Now the dad's Oh, it ends with fucked. Shift. Won't Got it. Ask you again, Wyvern. Take Shift. her head so we can be done with this. It's a funny trophy, dude. So was that? Uh, I pressed circle to dodge, but at the I right won't. time, I guess. You would betray the Holy Empire. Betray? I don't recall ever pledging allegiance to your emperor. My service may have been bought with this. Our one is dodge. Yeah. What is but circle? Not my loyalty. I just fight to survive. Accidental parry. Okay. And you think I don't? This shit. The empire. Right. And then this thing, you could actually you follow up with shit. That's right. So if you won't take hers. I'll have to take you off. I told you, Sergeant. I'm not dying here today. And neither is she. Let's find out. Oh. Alright, his health bar you cannot see. Yep. For some reason, this one's different. You can't see his. Okay. I gotta stop using it like a dodge. Some good damage. Time. 
Yeah, this is this is a fun game to play. Just fun, man. Uh, I feel like uh, everything is well telegraphed. You know what I mean? You know, you know what your enemy's about to do. It's they make like they make dodging easy. You kind of feel bad for that guy. Yeah, we really did just turn on him, and without explaining, like, hey, that's my sister, actually, bro. We, I can't kill her. I'm just like, I won't explain! Now fucking die! Yeah, it is a destiny cursor. We're gonna have to digivolve, bro. He did say he wouldn't kill her because he knew her. You gotta be more specific. Hawk it, thanks for being a 14 monther. Damn, he was ready to go. He did just give up. He was ready to go, brother. Thank you, Ramu. Nice music, dude. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> he almost caught up to me. <laughs> no, I remember reading the entry about the uh, the barbarians and how they don't like swords. And how elegant the, the, uh, the warriors they were fighting are. Hugo, dear. My proud desert lion. Would that you had taken care when chasing the hare? I expected more from the mighty titan. Alright. So what's not clear to me is what Benedicta's whole deal is. Basically, you're allowed to use magic and not have a tattoo if you're royalty? Commander of the Kingdom of Walled's elite intelligencers, who sits by her liege's side at the highest tables of a state, most recently in their negotiations with the Dalmex at the Zernitra stronghold. But Barnabas is not the only one with whom she shares a special bond. Benedicta also has eyes and ambitions for Hugo Kupka. Yeah, so I don't know why she doesn't get a face tattoo. She's the dominant of Garuda? It doesn't say that here, chat. So if that's a spoiler, pump your brakes. <laughs> it was in the demo? I don't remember that part of the demo. <laughs> 
Ice Queen on her back. No doubt. Not in the prologue. Oh, okay. The second part that we skipped to skip the story spoilers. Got it. Corner, Thank you, chat. Appreciate you it. This price. Good shit, chat. Fuck. <laughs> My lady, the thunder. We'll be hearing more soon enough. Snake Sid. Ooh, she's got history with Sid. Gather the men. We have work to do. Bugs me when they light a cigar pipe with one puff and then put it out immediately. It's probably some powerful magic, you know, tobacco. Jill. You probably only need one puff. Is it really you? And who's this fine hound I see before me? You fine hound. A fine hound who saved your life, that's who. What a voice. Torgal. Hey. His name is Torgal. You two acquainted? Well then, you won't mind taking him off my hands. Funny. I'd always pictured you as more the chocobo type. Clive Rosfield. Shit. Nobody knows my name. Come now. Fleet as flame, fierce as a wildfire. That there was the blessing of the Phoenix. I'd heard rumors that you'd survived, but I never paid them much heed. <laughs> Calm down. I didn't come all this way for your handsome mug. Now her, on the other hand, she seemed worth muddying my boots for. None the worse for wear. Still, might be best to get a second opinion. Back Sorry, man, I chopped her up. Not another step. <laughs> I mean it. Well, I'm not about to leave her here. Not one with a warm bed waiting. It's all right. You're welcome to join us. You do want to help her, don't you? Uh, Sid, if we aren't back soon, none will have our heads. <laughs> none will have our heads. Um, help me with who this guy reminds me of. It's, um, one of those football brothers. Uh, plays for the Titans defensively. Yeah, Watt. This guy looks like J.J. Watt. One of Sid's trusted allies. A gentle giant who has a warm word for everyone. Goats? Uh, I think it's like Gates. J.J. Watt's a Steelers now? You're right, he is. Chad, let me pull that. For, you know what I mean? A lot of people don't know J.J. Watt. Myself included. There he is. Same dumb haircut. Same build. This guy's J.J. Watt. <laughs> Everybody had to watch Game of Thrones, and they had to, like, watch J.J. Watt tape. <laughs> Same guy. Same damn guy. He also didn't play for the Titans? Texans, obviously. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get confused all the time. Texans. Sorry, chat. T 
TJ Watt is the Steelers. Got it. Yeah, there's a JJ and a TJ. JJ Watt is retired. Cool. Chat, if I'm being honest with you, both the Texans and Titans are like completely irrelevant teams to me. Oh, his full name is Sidolphus. You'd have no idea unless you clicked on this. He's not just Sid, he's Sidolphus. We can get some Torgal lore too. Until Sid appeared. No, tell me more about Sid. Don't don't fucking talk about Clive right now. Torgal. Look how big Torgal's become. Clive's faithful friend, now fully grown. After the tragic events at Phoenix Gate, Clive believed that Torgal was lost to him forever. However, the paths were to cross again some 13 years later when Torgal's new master, Sid, came to Clive's rescue in the depths of the Nysa Defile. Despite their long years past, the two knew each other as if not a single day had passed since their separation. Can't say the same for Jill, who we clashed in battle with for 15 minutes before recognizing her face. It has been 13 years. Dominant of Shiva and Clive's childhood friend. In the depths of the Nysa Defile, the two came to blows at the orders of the armies that enslaved them. Jill fighting to defend her priests. Clive obeying the Empire's orders. Exhausted from her tilt with Titan, Jill came close to falling to her assassin's blades but was spared at the last moment when Clive's memories of the time together came flooding back. All it took was a tear. I'll explain everything once we're back at the hideaway. Come on. It's so funny that JJ's got a little chair strapped to his back. He came ready. Oh, the flag is helpful. Yeah, I didn't fully really appreciate that at the time. <laughs> Just imagine a journey here, Chad. Just imagine some random battles. Imagine some leveling up, cracking open some chests. Okay. A little mini boss, and now we're here. Imagine the banter. Imagine the banter. Not much further now. But we're in the middle of the Deadlands. Keen eye, you. <laughs> we definitely got stabbed by a tonberry. No, no birds and no magic. But it also means no neighbors. I was like, I could take this Tonberry and then we all get stabbed. Just a Tonberry wipe. Ash. Home sweet home. So this was in the uh, the demonstration. This is gonna be our home base. We're gonna find some shopkeeps, some lore masters. Yeah, they explained the hideaway fully. Cool to see some of the um, like engravings that we found in the ruins previously. This place, these are fallen ruins. Well, we didn't think they'd mind. And it keeps the black from our lungs. But how do you survive without magic? How does anyone? Hard work and a bit of nouse. Bit of what? We're starving. We grow. What's nouse? What's nouse? What's nouse? I'm here, believe it or not. <laughs> hmm? Suit yourself. Common sense, says Jet. You're back. Ah. Street oh, smarts, yeah. sure. And this is the dominant. How cold since we found her. 
I was hoping you might give her a look over. All right. Goots, get her upstairs. Goots! Well, but none will... Don't fret about Karen. I've taken care of her fee. All of it. She's the best healer this side of the belt. You've nothing to worry about. I'm worried about Nan, dude. Go on. JJ fears her. I'll be in my solo. Don't love that chapter title. Local map. Show me the local map. What a looker, bro. Still hungry, are you? Might have some around here. Yumba Bumba. Oh. Make me a blade. <sighs> I said, make me a blade. Don't grunt at me. We might have to do a main story quest before that man will forge us a blade. Uh, another newcomer. You mind the rules round here, or our next chat will be through the bars. Jail. You chat, you know I hate goofy PC mods. Hate them to death. I would download the JJ Watt mod. Then. It'll hold for now. No, I suppose I'll be needing a new sword. Sid once told me the blight doesn't kill the land. It only makes her forget who she once was. She'll eventually remember her purpose. All she needs is a little reminding. Okay, brother. I know the word chuffed? Yes, and it's not spelled like that. Leave me be. Okay. Bro, absolutely. I don't want to get any of your cough. All right, we're moving up. Can I be honest with you, chat? I'm starting to think a steady 30 might be more ideal than an impermanent 60 frames per second. The battles, though. I hear ya. I hear ya. Digital, Digital Foundry said the same thing. Let's give it a try, chat. Just like well, I don't, I don't like walking up those stairs. You know what I mean? Like there's, it was kind of bad. Frame rate, my arse, dude. So how does this feel for you, chat? The motion blur kills it. It is more exaggerated for sure. Do a 360. Well, a super rapid 360 will look like shit no matter what, you know? It's more steady. But the motion blur is bad. All right. Stick with the frame rate. Said you got an owl? Just working on a pet project of mine. Though she's not above biting the hand that feeds her. All right. 
I was hoping we might try and solve the mystery of poor Clive Rossfield. A bearer of the Sambrequa Imperial Army sent behind enemy lines. Sambrequa? With orders to wait until it turned into a brawl, then slit the Dominant's throat in the chaos. I didn't know it was her. How could it be? And so, to save her neck, you slit your sergeants, then set your sights on the hills. Conveniently forgetting how the Empire deals with deserters. Because with that on your chop, my friend, we both know you won't be getting far. They don't know what I did. They don't know. Oh, well, they know it's not You've the enemy army because it's a slit. Lord Rossfield. If it was a blade, it was obviously not the barbarians. I'll not have it said that I'm a poor host. What do you mean to do with her? Do with her? Why nothing? Her life is her own now. If I wanted to use her, do you think I'd be talking to you? All I want to do is help. Dominants like her, branded like you. Of course, the realm doesn't approve, which is why we live in a cave. <laughs> No, I don't think lacerated lass is okay. And it's also why we need help. From Branded who know one end of a sword from the other. What say you, Clive? Will you join us? He says no. Sid, was it? I trust that you'll do right by Jill. But until my brother is avenged, I must walk my own path. Good shit. Avenged? My brother was murdered by a second dominant of fire. The Phoenix is evil swing. Well, bugger me. Another rumor proven true. I only stand here today. Because of Joshua. Thirteen years I've waited for this chance. I've slept in filth, drunk from a gutter, killed more men than I can count. You're right. The Empire will not suffer a deserter. This will be my best opportunity. My last. Which is why you should join us. I told you I'm not interested, I know. One of my scouts sent word there's a group of branded fugitives north of here, in the Imperial village of Lost Wing. Among them is one he believes to be a dominant of fire. Say that again. certain. Just a couple I'll of puffs. We go and ask him. This doesn't mean I'm joining you. Let's make ready then. ASAP Mick, thanks for being a 21 monther. You'll find everything you need down in the main hall, as well as a few things you don't. Have fun. A few things we don't. Is there gambling? Yeah, now's a perfect break time. Perfect. Can we gamble? Careful, you. I've spent the whole morning on these steps. Okay, bro. How dirty do you think I am? Well, he's not out chasing rumors. Sits up there in that hole of his. Where's your gambling hole? Where do I gamble? Oh, check out the. Details back here. Woof. Very nice. You did just admit to drinking in a gutter. I drank from a gutter. This is my only chance. My last chance. Hell yeah. 
that ceiling. Shit. Shit. We'll take a break after this, after JJ talks to us for a second. He, he's in my... Oh no. Oh my god. Goots, was it? Goots. Perhaps you can help. Sid asked me to make ready for our mission. How does one go about that here? Uh, well, uh, there's old Nan's place. Uh, uh, on second thoughts, uh, you maybe want to see Blackthorn first. A blacksmith? To the forge it is, then. To the forge it is. Oh, wait, no, hold up. You'll be needing this. Blackthorn won't take no notice of you otherwise. Might not anyway. Weird mouth movements, no doubt. They're having a hard time with Gits. Can't believe they got JJ Watt to voice him too. This game has a huge budget, chat. Massive budget on this one. They could pay JJ. They could pay every NFL player one year salary to do one character in this game. All right, let's take a quick break though. Uh, when we get back, well, obviously we'll go to the blacksmith. We'll get a new sword. That's something between what we have now and the DLC sword. And then uh, we'll kick off on some adventures. <laughs> know where this is sitting on Metacritic? I think it's like, I think it's like 89. I think it's right where we guessed. All right, see y'all soon. You're all right. Don't worry about it. Oh, I...
I didn't have music playing that whole time? Damn. Sorry, chat. <sighs> it played for like 10 seconds and stopped. That's so weird. You know what? I think my headphones fell on the space bar. I legitimately think that's what happened. It wasn't Mucho. Don't blame him. Come on up. Come on up. Oh, you're going there? Whichever you pick, dude. Whatever you like. Are you Blackthorn? What if I am? No time for idle chatter. No, look what I have. I'm not here to talk. Look. I'll be accompanying Sister hey, Lostwing and I need you to see to my equipment. You could be accompanying the goddess Grieger to our holy bedchamber for all I care. I'm hey. not lifting a finger for you. Is that so? Grieger's the moon, right? I've got some continental rum you might be interested in. Really funny, right? I assumed it was going to be like some sort of metal or something. This is kind of cute to not reveal what uh, the key item was until this moment. Do you want that or not? I can take it back. Oh, damn you, Goots. Metia is the red right, star by right. the moon. Grieger is no just the goddess. Okay. Hasty. Let's have a look at you. I doubt that lock has stay a Moogle's fart. Bloody Imperials. They'd rather see their bearers dead than kid it out properly. Highly anticipated delivery. I'll do what I can. As a favor to Goots, mind. Goots. We, uh, we read that subtitle for like 10 seconds. It's like, yeah, here we go. High anticipation. All you can give me is an iron belt? That's the best you can do. Shit. Yes, I equip. And the belt sees a square. You want anything else? You bring your own materials. I'll bear that in mind. Thank you. Uh, a word of advice. Don't let Sid decide what's best for you. Good advice. I suppose I should thank Goots. Thank you, Goots. So the 2023 NFL salary all combined is 7.2 billion. The gift worked. You have my wow. thanks. I, uh, uh, <laughs> Come on, nearly there. Nah, we're not going to use the DLC sword. It looks too dorky. It doesn't feel canon. Clive shouldn't have cool stuff like that yet, you know? You, blankets, quick as you like. I was watching a show, I forget what. The subtitles constantly say sucks teeth. All right. We make them comfortable while the bed's made up. <laughs> well, you're just going to stand there. Someone face some water. I'll get the bucket. Somebody's sucking teeth You'll down there. You'll see if Otto needs out, eh? Yeah? <laughs> Wait, me? Yeah, what show was it where people are constantly sucking teeth? Am I enjoying it so far? Yeah, we have not really played too much today. We had to do too much Nintendo business. Who are they? Huh? They're freed Imperial bearers. Who the hell are you? Boy. <sighs> This rate, he won't make it through the night. Think you can find your way up them stairs to the infirmary? We need Tyre. Well, go on. 
Shift your ass. Huh. Does Starry that mean after jail. Tharja is pronounced Tharja? Your friend needs her rest. There'll be time for tearful reunions when she's recovered. I'm not here for jail. You're wanted downstairs. There are injured bearers in need of attention. Well, why didn't you say so? I did say so. Damn. He's going to be all right. Oh, okay. But I'll need to examine them both in the infirmary. She's good. My work's just begun. Best healer around. We should recruit her to our party. In any other RPG, you do. Another fine day at the hideaway. Do many of the bearers who come here arrive in this state? It's no easy thing, casting off your chains. By the time most pluck up the courage, they're already too far gone. Damn. These two here are the lucky ones. The name's Otto. You need anything? You ask me. Well, Otto, I do need some supplies. Do you now? Then Lady Karen over there will be more than happy to help you. Otto, you just said Wait. ask you. You said you need oh. anything, ask me. And thanks. Be seeing you. You didn't do shit like for me, you. Otto. <laughs> I won't be staying. Is that right? Well, right. for as long as you are here, consider yourself welcome. You helped us today. And we won't forget it. A chat, I'm so sorry. Maybe I'm maybe like I'm missing some context here. All I did was walk upstairs and tell Taria to walk downstairs. Right? Did I do anything? Who are these people? <laughs> Not much of a curmudgeon, yeah. You saved their lives, okay. You fetched I the healer. I need for my journey to Lost Wing. Otto said you could provide them. What's that? Does the newcomer think it proper to make demands of a poor old matron before even introducing himself? <sighs> it's Clive. Well, Clive, I hear that dog is yours. Yep. Since he followed Sid home one night, I've seen to it that his chin's rubbed and his belly fed. Though I suppose that's your job now. Unless you lose him again. Unless I won't. You lose him again. again. Thank you for watching him. So, were you going to buy something? What? You didn't think I'd shower your lordship with my hard won wares while you swagger about with a pocket full of gill? Life doesn't work that way, lad. Now, let's see some coin. I like Karen. Yeah, this is a much more suitable blade for us, chat. We'll take the plus five instead of plus 50. That's all my gill, though, brother. That's all my gill. That's all my gill. So it shall be. No, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it for a plus five. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. So it shan't. That's all. Why you barely a guilty a name? I know. You taking his side now? And after all I've done for you. All right. All right. I can make an exception. She's got a glass eye. Well, just this once, mind. 
My stores are getting cluttered and I need to make room for the next shipment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank me? Thank you, dog. Good dog. It's a giant wolf, but it is a fine hound. Yoink. Retrieve sacks. This is some crazy tutorial stuff, dude. I'm glad the demo ended before this. Virtual Battlescape. Okay. Pass. You may not pass. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> Fine. Welcome to training mode. The Hall of Virtue is a fully customizable battlescape. out i'm like a smash streamer you can see my analog sticks how crazy is that that's just private need to show controller i know that's crazy so you can you can see when i'm doing the triangle inputs right you can be like kyle not fast enough or kyle too fast i think that might be too fast it is Burst timing? Is that what we're looking for? Yeah, I think that's it. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah! Cool. Yeah, good training mode. I agree. Hell yeah! Cool. Okay, so there is a rhythm to it. It's not pop 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 pop. It's pop 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 pop. It's nice. All right, let's get out of here. Take me home. Take me home. I'm good. All done. Take me home. <laughs> Touchpad, then triangle. Okay. Thanks, chat. I don't think I've gotten a lot of XP since the last time we You're checked, done. chat. I don't think I can. I don't think I have got a lot of new abilities to unlock. Hmm. Leaving already. All that dialogue oh, yeah. over two potions? Come on now. It's you I'll miss the most, Lady Karen. It always is. Don't stop you going, does it? Does it? This should be fun. Right. You gave up on magic bursting. It doesn't seem necessary. It's not a lot of crazy damage. It's just kind of like a fun bonus thing to uh, try to get. Oh, 
Only see I'm busy here. What'd you want? What'd you want? I don't have enough war, war right, Chet. Oh, so he could build a war a broadsword plus one, or we could go buy it, upgrade it one, upgrade it twice. All right, yeah, it's worth Anything it. Anything else? And what do you want? Go what on, do then. you want? You'll not find a better price than that. Make it quick. Thank for you, dear. Reinforce this for me, will you? You can thank me later. For my best work. There we go. Good sword, good sword. I wish we could get some crazy armors. Do you think we should go and help? Don't think I haven't noticed you. Kenneth! What is it? Ah, a new face. And dare I hope. A willing pair of hands. The fat chocobo is a demanding mistress, and we are too few to keep her on her feet. Might I persuade you to deliver a meal or two to souls in need of sustenance? For your trouble, I can offer you the contents of my strong box and my enduring gratitude. There's two potions in there. Don't be fooled. That's just the name of this restaurant? I don't see why. Marvelous. And who exactly do I have the honor of addressing? Clive. Clive. Delighted to make your acquaintance, Clive. I'm Kenneth, and mine are the weary shoulders upon which the weight of this fine establishment rests. Okay, Kenneth. Now, I have three hungry customers awaiting their victuals. Take these if you would, and be careful. They're hot. Victuals? Kenneth really has me out here just serving plates? Why, I've never. I'm a prince, Kenneth. Your food. Don't look at me like that. I was hoping it might be. Well, doesn't this look fine? Thank you, lad. You're new, aren't you? Kenneth's running you ragged already, I expect. The old rascal. Well, he did say he'd give me something for my trouble. <laughs> and so he should. We're not slaves anymore. Well met, lad. And keep up the good work. This is beneath me, chat. I'm not touching that jukebox either. Yeah. Oh, my thanks. <laughs> I hope you do not think me lazy for waiting to be served like a lord. <laughs> Don't look at me in the eyes. Only my former master did not use me kindly, you see. You left me half lame, truth be told. But Sid took me in nonetheless. <laughs> well, the hideaway is the home I never knew. And a mighty fine one at that. Stop looking at me. No, they're trying to endear you to the community. I under I understand the purpose of the mission. We are meant to be endeared. I don't like them oh, looking wow. at me. There's so much more to farming than just seeds and soil. Uh, it's a big book. Your food. <laughs> are just you not moment. endeared? I, this. <laughs> I won't be a burden. I'm of no use to anyone as I am, but maybe if I can master this. All right, but see that you eat it before it gets cold. Of course. Thank you. That's the Wasn't last that sweet? I'd better let Kenneth know. Talk to me, wizard man. Yours is not a familiar face. Are you new to the hideaway, perchance? I am. You could say that. Well then. Allow me to welcome you. I am Harpocrates II Hyperboreus. That's, uh... <laughs> Quite a mouthful, I know. Which is why everyone here has taken to calling me simply Tones. On account of the uh, company I keep. And what varied company. I'm I love his little pouch. 
not of bijou and baubles, but of stories. The history and culture of these isles have but ever I'm been a source of endless and fascination to me. But alas, my days of wandering the realm in search of new tales are far behind me. And so I've taken to sharing that which I've gathered with all who might listen. Great Perhaps wizened voice, right? Would care to listen. But I love bijou and baubles. I have a few new notes that might interest you. I have compiled some new entries, if you would like to see them. <laughs> so cute, dude. Oh, you come on. You wish to study the tomes? I do not, no. I just want to level that thing up. The door to the shelves shall ever be open. All done, I presume? Splendid. They were bearers. All three of them. Not slaves waiting upon their master's pleasure, but men waiting to be fed like equals. Indeed, equality is the very cornerstone upon which our little community is founded. These Beyond people are these all walls, dead. We are scorned as slaves, speaking only when spoken to, eating only what scraps our masters deign to give us. We can't have this. The first hot meal here is the first many will have known. In the hideaway, we are free. Truly free to speak as we please, when we please, and to eat what and when we desire. More than reason enough to trust in Sid's vision, wouldn't you say? Now, I promised you something for your trouble, did I not? Here we go. The contents of my strongbox are yours to do with as you will. Thank you, Clive. Do come and visit me again, won't you? Never again, Kenneth. Is that Gil? We got a lot of Gil for that. He promised. Ooh, and some wire right. Not bad. Kenneth, not bad. Why do I hate Kenneth? He's just a little full of himself. And a badge of metal. Increases defense by 10. Cool. Kenneth, that was great shit and it was worth it. I think there was another side quest. Yeah, here we go. Where to next? For now, I rest. I heard they escaped their masters. <sighs> nah, I skipped Damn the bard. It. We'll be needing more wood. If I step away to fetch any, this lot will be down around our ears. I'll get you wood. Ah, you there. Perfect timing. I couldn't persuade you to fetch me some timber, could I? I'll be happy to. I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you. You'll be helping me and the hideaway both. Unexpected hairline. I like it, yeah. To keep this place standing. <laughs> More than we can manage, if I'm honest. It certainly looks like you've got your hands full. Ah, you can say that again. The Fallen knew their craft, make no mistake, but not even their handiwork lasts forever. That's why the walls need shoring up. Can't have the uh, vegetable patch crushed before our first harvest now, can we? <laughs> <laughs> One delivery. No, I suppose not. All right, where can I find this wood? Ask over at the White Ads. They'll point you in the right direction. Thanks again. Really you point me that. in the right direction. How about you do it? You clearly know where it is. <laughs> Sorry, bird. Hey, do you know where I can get wood? Excuse me. The man working over by the garden sent me to fetch some wood. Ah, that'll be Jeffrey, Master Carpenter. Luck would have it, we've just finished cutting the timber he's after. You take as much as you need from the stack. Thank you. Got no, it. Not at all. We appreciate this. I thought we'd be going back to a forest or something. It's like, nah, just go pick some up from that stack over there. <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> I better get this to Jeffrey, was it? Yeah, that's how I remember names too, dude. I get it. Oh, you're back. Hope fetching that wood wasn't too much trouble. No, it was right there, Jeffrey. It was right there. Will this be enough? This will do nicely, thank you. With a bit of luck, the walls won't be falling in on us just yet. That sounds ominous. Oh, it's not as bad as all that. And it's a damn sight better than the alternative. We're safe, we're warm, and we're hidden. What more could we ask for? Now stop fretting and take this. You've earned it. Welcome to the fold. I've earned it. There's no need to. That's not a matter of need, my friend. You're one of us now. No, I'm not. Don't talk like that. He handed us a meteorite and a gill bug. Contrary to popular belief, this small insect does not get its name from its appearance, but rather from the fact that it is highly sought after by physicers for use in brewing medicines. In summer, when the beetles are most numerous, children across the realm will spend nigh every waking hour collecting specimens in readiness to exchange them for a handful of coppers. As children have tiny hands, however, they are... This amounts to fewer than one might expect. They just, their hands are just too damn small to carry the gill bugs. <laughs> I heard they escaped their masters in the Imperial capital. Yeah, I'd be out of luck too, it's true. Canonically tiny hands. There's a good girl. Hungry, are you? I think I gotta get our quest selected again if I know where to go. Journal? Nope, there we go. To the Great Wood. Yeah, obviously I thought we'd be getting wood at the Great Wood. Bastard blood flies everywhere. Blood I told you we should have taken the crystal chat. road. That's good fantasy. And I told you we'll blood flies. Outdoors. Way cooler every than mosquitoes. In storm, hurrying us from here to the holy capital. Besides, what's wrong with a shortcut through nature's splendor? Get off. The Deadlands claim more of the realm each day. But a place like this still exists as a miracle in itself. Blood flies and all. We'll be back in Imperial land soon. You all right? Never better. Yeah, oh, Sid my. does seem like too put together. Up there is a fine hound. Soon took to hunting. Fearless as you like. It's good to have you back. Tom. I need more Sid lore. Where'd you grow up, brother? Now, we don't want to be caught in the forest after nightfall. I suppose not. No blue dot. We still don't know anything about Sid. Okay. Oh, we can get some Torgal lore, though. Torgal not only grew into a fine hound, but met with Sid, who trained him to work as a hunting dog. After meeting with Clive again, Torgal gladly returns. Yeah. Any summons I'm hoping show up in the game? I mean, my favorite summons are silly summons. You know what I mean? I want Bahamut Zero in this. Sick. Heal. Nice. Ravage. Whoa. Welcome, Toggle. Did I mention there'd be deadly beasts? There'll be deadly beasts. Nothing a trained assassin can't handle, though. 
How reassuring. Good forest, good shit. You're welcome for that anti shortcut. How you doing, Torgal? <laughs> Come on, bro, that's sweet. Those B sisters, I think that'd be a really cool one. Maybe they're friendly like Joggle. Oh, maybe they're not. I think a lot of those splashes are missing. Oof. I tried to uh, sit. You have to hold down L2? There it is. Great sound effects. Good shit, Torgle. You have to hit left on the D-pad. We got it. We still have a way to go. You can time sick. Yeah, sounds like it. Because of that new accessory we got. I will not be working sick into my combos, chat. Yeah, it's a lot of micromanagement for sure. So can I do it after the final magic burst? Square, triangle, square, triangle, square, triangle, square, triangle, up. Okay. That was a cool beast. What in good Grieger's name is he doing this far south? Looking for food. No more walls where he's from. The north was one of the first parts of Storm to fall to the Blight. Poor sod. I'd invite him over for a cup of tea if I didn't think he'd eat the dog. I'll protect you, Torgo. Let's try and stay out of its path. Like, we're not gonna fight that thing. Come on, Clive. Come on now. Torgo, you're safe with me. I feel good, boy. <laughs> they made Torgal so soft. Remember when I said that we'd be released? Well, the shrubs in these parts are much better. And you only think to mention this. Someone hit me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They shoot this much. <laughs> That was a precision sick. We'll take it. It's over. Well, that's the underdog sorted. I'll take it from here. Magic dash. So yeah, it's square triangle, square triangle, square triangle, square triangle. Up. You're right, and I don't like using the icon powers. They're too damn precious. This one I'd like. Oh yeah, can I just tell Torgal to heal me now? Torgal. Only in battle, I guess. They're just cooldowns. I know, Chad, I know. After you. Thank you kindly. 
They do look stupid, though. The ruins. They're everywhere, aren't they? So cool, dude. Damn. Some say there was a time they blocked out the stars. Down was the only way left for them to go. Down? There's probably a lesson to be learned from that. But it can wait. Okay, teach me more, teach me more. <laughs> the ancient yet highly advanced civilization whose relics can be found across the length and breadth of Alistair. The material from which these relics are constructed is far sturdier than steel and cannot be worked up by modern methods. So the people of modern day have elected to build inside and around them instead. Come on. Cool. Potentially space shit, yeah. Mind your head. Mind your head. The fallen. Oh, how far you've fallen. Beautiful. Beautiful environment. A nice sunny day in the woods with Stop Sid. Admiring the view and get down here. Hey, okay, I did. Uh oh. That's what happens when I start using my shit, chat. Shit. Sick of Toggle. Way off my rhythm there, huh? That sucks. Good damage, though. It's actually giving a heal. A little help. Let's reset. Who's that? Thank you, Torgal, for healing me. We don't need potions anymore. We got Torgal. Must be a nest nearby. Keep your eyes open. Uh, no, it unbuckles. When he takes the sword out, it unbuckles. You don't see that? Watch closely. Watch closely. Once again, watch closely. And... Oh. Cool based. Yeah, I took a lot of damage in this fight. Well, it appears we won't be going this way. Great music right now, too. What a take on the, the theme. Very cool. I'll admit I haven't counted on that.
Oh, he's way ahead of us. What is it, Targle? What is it? At least one of us knows these woods. What do you need? Animal instinct. Thank of you, Toggle. I'm gonna grab this first, Torgo. Victory fanfare is good. It mostly only happens after a boss fight. They'll hit you with it. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Lush. Feel the density. Hey! Fuck you! So far away. This is stupid. I like wolves. I don't think they care, Sid. Oops, shit. I tried to do a Torgle and I had uh, potions equipped. Go, show me the way. That was just my cooldowns recharging. <laughs> All right. Cute. Two bloody hides. Ooh. Look at what the fallen had crafted. Play no fighting here. Surely not a boss arena. <laughs> Love that slobber. That's all sharp. You better hope so. That's all sharp. This shouldn't take too long. So much for your shortcut. It's still short. Just not quite as quick. Ooh, okay, you hit with your tail. Very cute. If you help me. My thoughts exactly. <laughs> And you roll. Okay, this is a monster hunter fight. All sides are viable. You want the health bar? No problem. You gotta look out for all sides of this beast. Hulk. Too early again. Okay, okay, okay. Again, dude, it keeps faking me out. <laughs> that, so that move was silly. Yeah, you gotta let it get his nose down.
stupid trophy? The trophy's in the way. Aye, aye. Someone's got the up. Where he stops, no one knows. Too slow. Not this time. I doubt he'll do that again. Not if we kill him first. Fuck the follow up. Not this time. Big boy damage on this guy. I gotta let his nose go down first. I know it. I know it. The tail came up. Sick of Togo. Try that again, I. There it is. Not this time. No, 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 no. Nose wasn't down. Oh shit, that was not on portal mode. Oh, one little, little, little tap on the chin. All right, so yeah, I feel like I should be um, using my, my supers more. No doubt. Oh, look at all that wire right we got. Hell yeah. All right, stand by. Gotta blow my nose. Yeah, there's more going on with Sid. You're, Sid's shady, bro. You're dominant. Yeah. You know? I am. I. I. Well, not by choice, mind. Old bloody realm of strapping young lads. And it was this sorry sack of bones realm who saw fit to home. He only needs three puffs. Why didn't he do that be Sid. to begin with? Because he bleeds, he coughs up blood every time you he does you it. You want to help and bearers. Well, what's in it for you? What's in it for me? The same as for all of us. What we want and deserve. Save for our knack. Dominance and bearers are no different from anyone else. You puffs. The ability to use magic or summon great beasts should command respect, but instead has left us outcasts. Our kind are used and discarded like tools, yet we are men, so why must we die as less? I see. So what you're saying is you want to start a war. <laughs> ah, you flatter me, lad. But my days as a firebrand are long behind me. No. I only wish to offer our kind of choice. A place where we can die on our own terms. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I drank a lot of my potions in that fight. Very sloppy. This is your fart fault, oh, Torgal. You weren't healing me enough. <laughs> I 
No, I didn't say fart. That's on you. No, no, no. I didn't say that. I didn't say that shit. I would never. Clive, what exactly do you plan on doing when you find this dominant the fire? Yeah, we can do an abilities check. What do you think? What do you think? Wretch. Snappy menus. All right, so I definitely want this. Sorry, chat. All my points are gone already. But I really wanted that. Amp up the dodge. Yeah, and I don't even want any Phoenix powers. I'll show him the mercy he showed my brother. You already he had it. So what did we do? Neck. We just like upgraded it? Extends the trigger window, I think is what we did. Yep. Cool. High potion, I needed that. Dude, hell yeah. Chad, I really don't think I can afford anything else. Oh yeah, these are cheap. Okay. These are dirt cheap. Yeah, that's kind of fun. Saving the rest. But well, we got another thunderstorm. We'll lose internet. That's what's causing it. Any wolvies? A hole in it. Excellent. Another fight. One is taking the shots. No, I want to target this thing. I can't. Crazy. Well done, you two. So I should have uh, jumped and pressed. I guess first we do burning blade, which I can't do right now. Okay. What a forest, dude. Hell yeah. Come on now. Precision sick. Level up. Very nice. Very nice. See that river? Follow her upstream, and we'll be in Lost Wing in no time. What in river, no time. bro? Right. What river are you talking about? Torgal boost me. Torgal boost me. See that river? You can go there. Alright, so let's ignore that for now. Torgal boost me. That seems like the right way to go, actually. Okay. This 
So I don't have Burning Blade yet. Got it. So down the river is okay to go. You ever play any DMCs? Never played a DMC. Only Bayonettas. Cool. What is Torgal doing down there? What, do you have a scent? What's going on? What do you like down here, Torgal? Okay. Chop, chop, baby. You lose. You lose. Finally, what was it? What was it? Sid, what was it? What was the treasure, Sid? Oh, all right. Kill a priest. Thanks for being a 34 month there. It was a potion. Okay. <laughs> he ate it. I know you'd understand, Clive. It's a heat or be eaten. Now we can go up the river. How do you do get precision sick? It is it really is the same timing, so it's square triangle, square triangle, square triangle, square triangle sick. Is there an area map? Oh, uh I guess not, no. Good question. We got a big boy in here too, cool. Oh. Fuck. Wasn't ready for my turtle there. Not this time. Gotcha, Talon. Good job, turtle. <laughs> really good shit. You can pet the dog. Isn't in that trophy. My favorite Final Fantasy is nine. Bill. 
high stakes with the upcoming Final Fantasy IX remake. High personal stakes. Insufficient inventory space is the first time I've heard. No, that's not the first time. You're right. We've seen that before. So we auto used that potion, which is cool. <sighs> Quick recovery, I never remember to use in any games, especially fighting games. You know what I mean? In Street Fighter, it's like if you press two buttons immediately as you land, you do a quick recovery. I'll never remember that. What would I want in FF9 Remake? Um, a camera work, more than anything. I want that camera third person. I want to be able to inspect those environments. And I want them to be worth inspecting. They're just down that way. All of them. Grieger's my witness. Excellent. We move. We move. I, 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 I don't understand. Look at these Have two. I not proven loyal? It is true my liege values loyalty above all else. But were you not quick to betray your countrymen for the promise of coin? She just blew away the body? Is that what happened there? Benedicta Harmon, commander of Walud's elite intelligences. If we can capture her... Put out the fire, okay. You! Where you! On the ground, Imperials. Yeah, fucking right, bro. We have Torgal. Let's get this over with then. Remember, every time he does this, the belt buckle on his strap is unbuckling. Alright, do they have any mages is what we gotta look out for. Shit. I'm like auto-locking on today. I don't love that. There we go. Thank you, camera. Yeah, then we just deal with the Midnight Raven. That shit. Fuck. Look, okay, he just stands there. I like that. But you can't get a full combo, really. Well, here we go. Here's one. Shit. There it is. Even then, dude. Too slow. Oh, no, actually, you can see his health bar. I was, I was just thinking about it, my bad, but you can see his. He's got some health, too, man. What's this? What's this? When the screen flashes orange like this in a pivotal moment, it repeatedly taps square. Okay, that's new. Yeah. 
This camera work, I like this. Good shit. Next gen. Holy shit. What is all this? I'm dodging three times because I don't know when to dodge. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Sorry, Torgle. Crazy lightning storm right now, chat. Who's on? What's this shit? Fuck. Rude. You failed me again, Torgal. Fuck. Fuck, fuck. Good shit, Torgle. That's cool. There it is, chat. There's your victory fanfare. Wow, dude. Ooh, attack by seven? Hell yeah. Goodbye defense by 10. We're Dragon Smackers here. No, we have the lunge. The circle button, I should just be using it more often. Oh, if you ever plan on switching out Phoenix Shift, copy that. Mr. Brownie, thanks for being a nine-monther. Yeah, that was a cool fight, dude. Square and X, copy that. What do I think of Clive so far? Uh, Clive is... Uh, I like that Clive has been through major tragedy. This poor guy's hurting. And he still doesn't... He still hasn't accepted that he killed his little brother, which I'm shocked by. You know what I mean? I saw Dark Clive. It's like, surely he knows. But no, he still hasn't put two and two together there. So uh, it's just going to get worse for him. Yeah, really nice camera work during that boss fight. Incredible, honestly. They thought we were Imperials. Well, you do look the part. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Wearing the old armor. Fight like a true shield of Rosaria. And one blessed by the Phoenix at that. <laughs> Didn't want to hear it. Speaking of which, 
I wonder, does the other icon of fire give blessings, do you think? You don't believe me. And lo, the Creator did make of the elements eight icons to serve as keepers of the One Law. Not that I've ever set too much store by holy doctrine, but on that point... He's looting right now, I like that. Get your gill, bro. Fire has always had just the one warden, as of all the rest. A new one can't be born until the previous dies. And even that can take years. The thing is, you don't strike me as a liar. Which leaves but one person who might be able to shed some light on the matter. And they're in Lost Wing. As are our Waluda friends, I would imagine. We should hurry before it gets dark. But what if someone discovers the bodies? Well, then they'll be sorely disappointed. <laughs> That's fun. Stage replayed in arcade mode. That's not for me, bro. Not for me, no thank you. This is my friend Bugenhagen. Yeah, I feel like they should allow themselves to introduce new characters who repeatedly appear as well. Yeah, I didn't actually scope out this map before. Check out these crystals. Hell yeah. The in-game cutscene director started as a motion designer for Chrono Cross and did event animation for the bouncer. What is a motion designer for Chrono Cross? Probably an animator, right? Motion designer. Some time later. So much for arriving before sunset. Oh, I didn't realize we were this close. Any idea what that is they built the village around? The fallen ruin. I've heard some call it an airship. Oh, hell yeah. The flying days seem to be behind it. A shame, that. You truly think a dominance waiting for us in that village? My scout has never given me any reason to doubt him. Which is why I think we should hurry. Come on. Neat. Very Final Fantasy fourteen. This isn't the first time I've seen one of these. Perhaps I can use them as way marks. I think that was it. I think you did it. Okay. Attuned. Gotland's Bios. It's dark. I like it. Will Metal Gear Solid 3 remakes Forest look this good? No. They simply won't. Metal Gear Solid Delta. Excuse me. Wolf Hound in the vineyard! Decision six. Level up again? Sure, sure. Gladly. 
gladly. Wolf hound in the vineyard. Will Metal Gear Solid Collection include the ape escape part? No. I doubt it. Oh yeah, we can equip our new dragon smack. Uh, shit. Badge of Might? Yep, there it is. Attack by seven. Hell yeah. <laughs> Look at our defense go down. That sucked. Gotta do what we gotta do, brother. I'm looking for the stinger attack that Chad's talking about. There it is. And then what does mastering do? Increases lunge distance. Sure. Looks cool, too. Good shit. Thank you, chat. Look at Heat Wave in the Phoenix Tree, the one that heals you a little bit? Figures up ahead. I've got no love for Phoenix. Are they friends or foes? Yeah, I do like uh, unlocking the ability and then also the mastery on top of it. Kyle hates birds. I hate the memories it conjures up. Yeah, I won't be spending much time on the Phoenix skill tree. Cool. So you can combo through enemies. Basically, we did three hits on one wolf and then the fourth hit on the second wolf and we still got a precision sick on that. That's pretty cool. I guess I really, if I got into DMC, that would not come as a surprise to me. That's probably just how these things go. You can magic burst after the lunge attack, too. Cool. And then can I continue the combo? Like, he really does slow down big time after that. Look at that. If we could cancel it, it'd be slightly more... Ooh, hey, buds. Oh, I see. I see why we'd magic burst. Nice. That's enough. Good shit, chat. <laughs> yeah, that's very nice. Leave my dog alone, you creep. More Walluders. Why? You Walluder. What is it they want? You're welcome to ask the next ones we meet. Let me know how it goes. Phil Spencer said in court today, Elder Scrolls 6 is five years out. Sure. Beautiful. Hello? Dominant? We're dominants too.
No sign of the Royalists. Or anyone else for that matter. It's too bloody quiet. Even for this hour. What do we do now? First we look for my scouts. You start here, I'll circle around the back. How do I let you know if I find him? Good question. Shout? Subtle. Sid's getting us into trouble. I don't even know what he looks like. Oh, we're sneaking in? Hello? Scout? Okay, so you don't have to touch him. Completely abandoned. Can it? Original Torgal concept art. If it's not by Amano. It's nice. I mean, this is what Torgal looks like. That's just Torgal. They must have known early on that they were uh, going to be doing some time hopping. This was an airship once? My god. <laughs> that sounds like a child. Weepy sobbing. That's redundant. Top out, come up out. Hello? Dominance? No way, right? Yeah, no way. Okay. Damn it. No one here. Hey, hey. We got some black blood, though. This is a big town. Wait till the lights go up. Baby, when the lights come up. Hello? I feel like we should, for now, I know there's treasure out there. Just follow the torches. Just do as the game asks. Yeah, we can bring back the happy meter. Hey, Wilson, it's not great. This guy's got some, like, Xanarkand armor. This man's gonna die if we don't get into a healer. Enough of your barking, dog! Oh! Chop, chop! About time! Stand back. Skipped the crying girl. Yeah, it did. Like a true D and D playthrough. <clears throat> Who the hell are you, Clive? <laughs> Thought you weren't coming. 
You still alive, Gav? <laughs> Barely. Been doing what I can for the villagers, but... I thought you were joking. It's all right. He's with me. Is this everyone? No. There were others. A pair of royalists came for the bearers just before you arrived. Was a dominant among them? Maybe. It's not like he was holding a sign. <laughs> Wilson, I'd say that I'd say the game's been pretty slow today, actually. I feel like they uh I'll give you one guess where he's going. Clive, after it. The demo the demo's so great because the story starts at a crazy pace intentionally. And now the game is trying to like get us into the groove of Hey, you're buckling for a long adventure, bud. This is not an eight-hour game. Why won't I speed boost? Speed boost. Faster, Clive. Faster, brother. Any word from the scouts? Not yet, my lady. But we are the dominant companion. It's only a matter of time before we seize our quarry. Very good. And what of the others? The bearers have been taken to Kaer Norvent. Some may still be worth keeping should the Dominant elude us. All is in hand, my lady. They will not be spoiled. I give you my word. <laughs> Gentlemen, a toast! Will you join me? <laughs> my thanks. To Our Lady of the Wind. And the king! Ugh. The Imperials drink this piss? Well, it would go some way to explain their breath. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Benedicta! Imperials! And instead of killing them, you lead the rat straight to us. Mercy. <laughs> no mercy. Look what we have here, boys. An imperial bearer. Good. I was getting bored. Yeah, right, Benedicta. <laughs> Booze, bijous, and baubles. So she can just summon her icon without having to hop in its body? No, that's just Charada, dude. What oh, is that okay. thing? This means what I think it does. That's just Charada chat. This is not Garuda, it is just Charada. And Sid has some explaining to do. <laughs>
Shit, so bad. You better be on your way, Sid. Missing my shit. Oh shit, I thought I was dead. I thought that was like a Kingdom Hearts thing. Shit. There we go. My bad, chat. It was a parry. Yeah, I thought that was like a Kingdom Hearts kill. I was like, okay. Easy fight. No, that was a parry. That was but a parry. Increasing his healing potency by potions by 20%. So nerdy. We'll never equip that. Come on, man. Waste of a slot. What kind of nerd would put that on? Almost flawless. Yeah, we almost had a flawless victory there. Um, that one's attacks are much more choreo telegraphed. Telegraphed. She's like kicking her leg up and then like, poof, you know. You're seeing why 14 fans love this music composer? Hell yeah. You've got some fight in you. Best Even for a branded. May I join you? Clive! Oh shit, she knows Sid. <laughs> Look who's here to save the day. Former lovers. Is this how you recruit all of your charges? Don't recall you complaining, Benedicta. So, Sidolphus. Remind me, she used why the full was it name. that you betrayed your kingdom? I asked your question, Lord Commander. Why? Because I'd had enough of you and your king's antics. And yet here you are, stealing my branded. What are you plotting? As if I'd tell you. Nice sound design there. It's cute. Lady Benedicta, we have secured the dominant. Oh, what? Holy oh, something is there. Gav is here too? When did you show up, Gav? And she's gone. <laughs> now I'm just imagining so the belt buckle go. opening and closing every time. No. Then we head back to Lost Wing. One of the villagers may have heard something. But we can't just... Which is why I sent Gav. The man has a nose for these things. Trust me. <laughs> All right, Gav. Let Gav handle it. <laughs> we we didn't know Gav for long. This is cool, dude. Building the city off of a fallen airship. <laughs> so, it wasn't about bears at all. They were looking for a dominant. Yeah, that's right. That's right. We were hiding the bastard. Like any of us would keep a monster like that under our roof. Oh, no offense. When no one talked, they started rounding up everyone with a brand. And then everyone without one and all. And locked you in the cellar, hoping sooner or later someone would break. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Things might have been different if you'd accepted my invitation. Yeah, Sid is too cool. Oh, don't remind us. We were all saying the yeah. same thing. Yeah. This is our own, Sid's isn't it? too cool. Don't mean we won't out when we can, though. And that, I'll drink to. We can't rely on Sid for too long. Oh, come hear the tale of Lord D on the boat. Whose tamed worms a thousand and slain Very cute. but enfold. One hundred full legions the young dragoon led. 
and watched as a million foes turned tail. I'm just not easy like that, chat. I'm not easy like that. Long-term Final Fantasy fans, they're they're like they're clapping at that. It's like, come on, man. Don't be easy. Revenge won't bring him back. It won't. Thirteen years ago, I was built different. <laughs> I watched a dominant kill my brother right in front of me, and I did nothing. But now I can. I can kill the son of a bitch and bring peace to my brother's soul. Oh, Clive. After that, whatever happens, happens. Oh, Clive. Fate. You're content to be a slave then. Okay, just give us some sipping noises. <laughs> Oh, I like it. Meanwhile, his radiance would have us believe the Imperial host invincible. Yet here we find the Empire's cornerstone teetering on the backs of a handful of cowards and cutthroats. <laughs> While Bahamut may lead a hundred full legions, could it be that the young prince defends a house of cards ready to topple at the slightest breeze? Tell me something. Why do you not resist? Within you lies the power to slay gods. The phoenix perished in your flames. Yet you do not fight. You do not flee. You refuse your gift. Perhaps you are distracted. <sighs> Offer still stands. Join us, and you will be treated with the respect one of our kind deserves. These swords are so sharp, you can just barely poke in and cut leather. Lord Margrace, don't! Or maybe Benedicta is just that strong. I'll give you a moment to consider your options. Do be gentle with them. Yeah, it's got to be some magic strength. Just a little. Clive. Mm. Wake up. Wake up. Gav's back. <laughs> Gav did good, man. Canovent. One of the Empire's outlying strongholds, though apparently not strong enough to keep out the Royalists. The Good captured shit, bearers are inside. I'm sure of it. If Benedicta's orders are to stay in the shadows, she won't be traveling with many men. Meaning, she'll be keeping her prisoners together and close by. Including the Dominant. So, we find a way into the fortress and conjure a bit of chaos. Uh, what about me? Excellent question, Gav. You will wait outside the care and guide those I free to safety. And miss all the fun? Why can't he do that? Miss Clyde doesn't fun. have your nose. He'd stumble off a cliff before he even found the men. Come on, Gav. You're the best man for the job. Well, when you put it that way, <sighs> suppose I'd better scout ahead for any surprises. Don't you let him down. I won't. All right. Shall we? Not so fast. We wait until tomorrow. Good. I need to see this village in the He's daylight. Right there. 
And if we leave now, we'll arrive just as the sun comes up. Maybe join the guards in breaking their fast. Come on, Clive. They only just took the place. They'll be there a while yet. We've got one chance at this. You don't want to waste it, do you? No. 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 How long till Gav bites the dust? Gav seems like a survivor to me. I think Gav outlives Sid. Break soon. We're at a good break spot. Let's see what let's see what's going on in town. The dead of night sounds like a pun to me. No, that's settled. There's someone I want you to meet. At this hour. He's the owner of the tavern, and I'll best hope of getting a decent night's kip. Quinton! Any friend Speak of the to me, Quinton! Is a friend of mine. Long sword, I have one of those. Two defense points? Shut up. Come on, man. Now that's kind of worth it. And look how much gill we have now. We are lush with gill. Ooh. Oh, it's music. Adds a new song. Cute. 40,000 gill, dude. I'll buy some high potions too. I hope it's to your liking. Now the thing is, I think we'll, I think we'll, you know, land upon some high potions like we've been so far. I'm gonna buy these bands. I'm buying these bands. What? We're we're about to take a break. We're seconds away from our break. The meteorites are usually good to pick up, too. Really? Is, is, is it like a crafting thing? It's pretty expensive, chat. I'll do it for you. I'll do it. Ah, oh, yes. How's the storm? It does seem like it's passed by. Mucho's chilled out. All right, let's buy these buns. I trust it's all here. Put them on. Good day. Good day to you. Are you selling your junk? No, I keep, always keep your junk. Precious. It's too precious. Yeah, I'm ready for it to be daytime in here. It's too dark. Quentin, my good man. It seems we'll be spending the night. I thought as much. Where do you find that one? Well, him. You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Quinton here is an old friend. One who is sympathetic to our cause. Sympathetic? Then he knows about your little sanctuary. I would never have guessed so many people were bent on setting us free. When last I checked, the mere thought would only a trip to the gallows. I am well aware of the risks, as I am of the rewards. <laughs> and what could be more rewarding than your very own dominant of fire? A dominant? Here? Now that I would like to see. <sighs> Meaning you haven't. No, but nothing passes unnoticed in Lost Wing. Take your brand, for example. People will see that at once. Sure. And I need hardly tell you how they will greet the inquiries of a bearer. You are afraid your words will fall on deaf ears. As they have ever since the moment you were marked. Damn. Happily, I can provide a solution to your dilemma. As a favor to Sid, that is. Hmm. 
Take this. You will find it has the uncanny power to loosen tongues. You accept the hanged man? May the mothers guide you. May the mothers guide you, brother. What did you just hand me? This might be Imperial land, but here in Lost Wing, it's his word that's law. Well, I thought he was going to hand us more liquor. You don't need to worry about that just yet. Trust me. Everyone in Lost Wing knows what that seal means and what it means if they don't take note. Whoa. Now we can sit here counting our blessings or put them to good use and find that dominance. Your choice. All right, yeah, we'll take our break there. Let's see if this thing really works. What is this thing that loosens lips? What is it? All right. Chat, we'll take a quick break right there. We're going to find out what this thing is that loosens lips. Wild Rom Star, thanks for being a 37 monther. We're going to gather information from villagers. And maybe take a look at our abilities. I know I'm, I'm frustrating you, chat, that I'm not even like buying the stuff that costs like 10 to 40 points. We'll check that out too. All right. Quick break, chat. See ya on the other side. The way you stared, the way you wrote up for me, yeah, yeah. Man, I felt your energy. Wasn't used to being loved and treated differently, yeah. But something went wrong, the signals got crossed, and now we're on completely different pages. Let's go where we were, when no one gets hurt. Baby, keep it right there, don't you stress the flow. Trying to pick the pace up, we should take it slow. Baby, keep your focus, don't you make me change my mind. If you love me, baby, don't you switch up the fight. Baby, don't you, baby, don't you, baby, don't you switch up the fight. Baby, don't you, baby, don't you, baby, don't you switch up the fight. Will you take me on? trip always up and down and back and forth in merry go round i just wanna get it right but when you go left i'm stuck here feeling left behind cause something went wrong the signals got crossed and now we're going different directions let's go where we were when no one gets Keep it right there, don't you stress the flow You're trying to pick the face up, we should take Weird man, it's bright and sunny out there Storm over, now we got like, you know, weird summertime late night sun No way I would know it's 8pm without a clock Just gate. How cool, dude. Um, alrighty. Taunt. I'm never gonna invest in taunt. There we go. Recovery. We got it. Auto re auto master too. Use X while in the air to kick off a nearby enemy, increasing jump height. Alright. 
silly. Not worth the points. And you go, go, go. You could do a double jump on people. Okay. Reduces charge time. Shit, I don't have enough points for that. Yeah, I do. Yeah, it's too damn dark out here. They need someone to cast some light spells. Like, yeah, you need to be doing more work, brother. Look at the cool red glow on his fingers, though. It's neat. That a hanged man, I see. Master Quentin must think you're important. It was a good thing you done today, getting rid of those bastards. If you hadn't come when you did, I'd be on my way to Ash by now, along with the others. Poor buggers. These others. Poor buggers. Was there a dominant among them? A dominant of fire? Might have been, yeah. Royalists seem to think there was, anyhow. A thin bloke all swallowed up in his robes like one of great Grieger's churchmen. Do you recall anything else about him? Only that you weren't alone. It was a young maid who went wherever he did, including the church. And wherever the royalists dragged them both off to before you got here. I see. Thank you. A young maid, you say? always have to ask, do you remember anything else? You have to. Ah. Master Quinton took a lark into you, I see. And there I was, thinking you were in bed with Sid. Wonder what Gav will have to say about this. Speaking of whom, if you see him, tell him thanks for looking after us. Now, what can I help you with? I'm searching for a dominant of fire. Gav seems to think he might have taken refuge here. Who are you in bed with? Quentin? So because I've got Quentin's hanged man, I'm not in bed with Sid? What's that about? Quintus is not in this game. Mysterious figure who was first seen amid the chaos. This is the person who whispered to us at Phoenix Gate immediately before the appearance of the second icon of fire. The very icon that slew the heir to the Ducal throne. Clive believes this man to be the dominant who murdered his brother and has sworn to take his revenge. Why would they say Clive believes if it wasn't true? Emblems that Sid's allies distribute to those in their circle of trust. It is common for the rich and powerful of Alistea to pin such marks on the bearers in their possession, that the slaves might go about their master's business unmolested. Oh, shit. So I'm, like, Quintin's now? Because I've worn this pin, I belong to Quintin? What have I done? We see a lot of bearers around these parts. But I do seem to recall one who commanded the flame. Now, whether or not that makes him a dominant, I can't say. But the Waludas certainly took a keen interest in the poor sod. Did you get a look at him? Didn't have a chance. One of the other bearers might have died. Thank you. I wonder if Sid's found anything. Yeah, so what's kind of cool is like this is a normal village of normal people who are anti bearer. We just give him some bonito flakes, dude. These people are not as open minded as those who uh, were in that first hideaway village. What a mess. 
so because I'm wearing Sin's pin, it's pin. It's like oh, okay. Excuse me, Quintus's pin. It's like oh, okay, yeah, that's that's Quintus's guy. Tell me that scowl means you've got good news. <laughs> Chat, I didn't say Sin's pin. So, a shady lad with a hood, and he's equally shady lass. Not much to go on, but... But... I've been thinking, if our friend is a dominant, why not just burn the royalist to a crisp? There's a reason he's holding back, and I reckon he has something to do with his partner. What makes you say that? One of the villagers I talked to said the two were separated. If the Waludas have her, our dominants like to think twice before starting any fires. Whoever he is, he's shown himself to have a level head. He's careful, cunning, and he doesn't want to be found. This could spell trouble. For us and the Royalists both. <sighs> Still, it'll be a whole lot worse if we set off after them with bleary eyes and empty bellies. There should be a pair of pallets waiting for us back at the inn. Shall we? Thid recognizes our value currently. Can't blame him. He's definitely using us a little bit. I'm going to see the blacksmith has anything new for us. Extra value Clive. Yeah. He knows Clive's value better than Clive does. So we're sneaking away before here. dinner time. Long sword is new shit. Okay. All right. We could build it if we wanted to. And then it almost looks like we could easily upgrade it to shit. Let's do it. Let's get that long sword, baby. Dragon smack. Bad. If I do say so myself. Yeah, that should do you. Dress to the fives. And sword get longer. <laughs> what do you want? Iron bell plus two. Uh, by the way, I like that they let you skip too. We didn't have to do plus one. Sure, sure. Plus two and plus three, but this will give us... Yeah, dude, check that shit out. Yeah, that should do you. My best work. Hell do. yeah, hell yeah. And? Good smithing, my friend. Plus one was the first one you made. Got it. That was the recipe. Probably new enemies to fight there. Got it. All right, let's fill our bellies and clear our bleary eyes. Why dress to the fives? I think for upgrading uh, an accessory. Oh, instead of nines. Yeah, t typically you say to the nines, don't you? Sorry, somebody asked earlier if I'm, a, if I'm a big Final Fantasy fan. And I feel like, truthfully, if you are a big Final Fantasy fan, you have to love Six. Now, about those beds. Beds? And since I do not, I, I am not a Final Fantasy fan. I to spend the night. And for that... The floor will more than suffice. Better than a wet rock. That I sounds suppose. like gatekeeping. <sighs> yeah, it's the truth, though. My thanks, Quentin. Next time you're at the hideaway, our floor's all yours. No need for thanks, Sid. This isn't an act of charity. You don't say. In exchange for my floor, I shall be requiring your services. Quentin. The royalists saw fit to erect a barricade across the road south when they occupied the village. 
and failed to remove it when they left. I expect it to be gone before you leave. As you wish. Quentin Smart. He's playing both sides. Well, that took longer than expected. First time dismantling the barricade? It gets easier, don't worry. I won't. Wait, we just if we leave skip now, we'll to when the job is done? The shadows are at the deepest. Well, I should rather wait. No more waiting. Okay. The road south then. Unless. I know of another shortcut. Sure. You should be so lucky. Through here. Hello? It's so dark. The mysteries of vinification. Sure. That's for chat to read. I do not care for this vinification. I beg of you. Nothing down here but dust and cobwebs. Unless you really help me get rid of them. Well, I wouldn't mind that. Nothing down here but dust and cobwebs. Unless you really help me get rid of them. What do you got in here, Torgal? <laughs> the Skyward Sword, Mom? Yeah, that's something Tears of the Kingdom is still missing. The hymns of Griga, and thus did Griga summon together her two and seventy spirits of light, and tell them to the holy heralds. Tell them of the holy heralds she would send to the world's blow, where there was much strife and suffering, for which she wept. Rejoice, she said, for my heralds, who are part of me, and who are me, shall be as bread unto the starving, and as water unto the thirsty, and shall bring light where there is only darkness. Weep not, my children. That's some good, uh, faux biblical writing, right? Can I submit my dog listening attentively to Torgal for the art show? I, yeah. What noises has Torgal made? Come back to me, my darling. I can't bear another night without you. Okay. If the royalists were looking to take the care that have posted centuries to prevent any unwelcome surprises, at least I would have. Well, you should know. I actually like making the subtitles this big. Oh, shoot, I thought it would open a map. Oh, it did. Okay. 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 Well, hold on a second. She said there was nothing but dust. There's something down there, dude. Look at that shit. Later. I bet that's later. That was a door I couldn't open. That's where I first fought Sharada? Huh. I trust you. How are the accessibility options? I was just admiring how big the subtitles are. Oops. Sorry about that. Got these visual alerts. Um, hearing impaired subtitles. And then lots of stuff for like difficulty, honestly. If you want to make the game not too hard, the game will allow it. Wrong way, friend. Oh, village is behind me, is it? 
Precision set. Precision set. Finished. Mortal blow. Thanks, Lamy. Yeah, I get it. I understand wanting to play a game on your own. What are the royalists thinking? Why take a stronghold they've no chance of holding? When they've no intention of holding it. The king is up to something. The king? Well, you don't think they're acting on a whim, do you? This is one of his majesty's cunning stunts. And he sent his best to execute it. I don't think we've met this king yet. We haven't witnessed any of his cunning stunts. Look at this clearing, dude. Yeah, hang right, hang right. Can't see shit. Yeah, this is you come back later for this stuff, dude. Okay. Can I get an OYA for finally submitting my PhD thesis? I meant to do it a couple of months ago, but life got in the way. <laughs> yeah, all right. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. We've seen this king at the boardroom meeting. It wasn't a boardroom. Yeah. This might take a while. That's enough. That's quite enough, thank you. There, boy. Good shit, Borgle. Ooh, and then they're actually air juggled with that. Good I'll shit, good shit, lady. good shit. You try. I see. So you could do, you could finish a combo with uh, Torgal and then keep it going. Huh. Okay, Norman's. Beefy game. Hard not to crack even when it isn't crawling with royalists. I don't care who else is in there. Hard not to crack. Yeah, and Torgal does regular biting and gnashing when you're not telling him what to do, too. Yeah, cool, dude. That's it. I need to like stay down. Once I summon Torgal, I need to be dashing forward. Basically, Torgal does launch them but drags them pretty far away. So you got to be closing that distance the whole time. Cool shit though. Phoenix dash would work too, yeah. Much as I enjoy battering down the front door, I hazard this endeavor will require a bit more tact. There's an old sluice that empties under the bridge. It you old sluice! The levels of the care. Sid. We both know why I'm here. But what is it that you want? Yeah, get into this. Why would you risk your life for a handful of outcasts? If anyone ever learned what you've been doing with their property... They'd have my head in a box. 
But this isn't just about dominance and bearers, it's about all of us. What I want is to build a place where it doesn't matter what you are, but who you are. But our world isn't ready for a place like that. So? So, until it is, I use the power I've been given to show people there is hope. Sid is a superhero. Sid is Spider-Man. I hope it's not the whole story too, because if it is, like he's he will just die. If Sid is actually just an extremely good person, he will die. Sid needs a flaw fast, so he can stick so, around in the story. Tell me about this, Benedicta. The best and worst decision I ever made. Yeah, we gotta recruit Benedicta. Clive. A fight with her icon is not one you're likely to walk away from. Garuda. Warden of the Wind. Yeah, maybe he eats spiders. That would help out a lot, too. Okay, we finally caught up to chat. It's finally been confirmed. That she is the dominant of Garuda. Uh, I don't know about that, bro. It took us a day to get from here to here. And then just like a couple of hours to get to here. No, he said the sun's going to rise. All right. That's Squall's necklace. The land has fallen. Barnabas. The eastern territories all but belong to the orcs. I'll have my men ready to depart by noon. Don't bother. But what of the mines? Without adamantite... The blight would have engulfed the mines ere long. Besides... I'm so ready. sorry, chat. I don't know who Barnabas is. Oh, Barnabas is the king. The aloof and unshakable Barnabas Tharmir. First of his name. Few can meet his steely gaze without flinching. Huh. Okay. The sole surviving nation in Ash. Walud. Walud has its capital in Stonia. Home of the mother crystal of Drake's spine. A warlike land. Its considerable military might serves to keep neighboring countries at bay. Not all are deterred, however, and the constant need to fight off hordes of beastmen prevents the royalists from launching a full incursion into storm. Orcs. Surprisingly organized species of beastman native to Ash. Hmm. Barren wastes bereft of ether, where no life stirs, and magic is all but unusable. Here both earth and water are stained black, preventing any seed from quickening. In recent years the blight has spread even more widely, displacing all nations before it, driving only peaceable fauna to violent desperation, and leaving silent devastation. In its wake. I have your orders. Yes, my liege. The dark swallows more of the realm with each passing day. The land starved of the ether that gives it life. And as the fringes fade, the people flock to the mother crystals, desperate for their blessing. The war we wage for possession of that blessing, it breaks us from within. Hastening us to our own destruction. And so you do what must be done. 
I unite the dominance, that we may bring an end to the strife and found a new order to see us unto tomorrow. The world must be restored, and I will see it so. You might have already had Sidolphus not betrayed us. Him again. Lust you still for his embrace? Perhaps Lust you still? Of course not. My liege. I serve you, and you alone. Lust you still? I remember well the day you first entered these halls. <laughs> Your pale hand pressed into his, as if he would never let go. That... that was a long time ago. Yours... is the only hand I need. Now... and always. Barnabas is not so simple. Soon, my dear. Soon all will know whose hand it is that keeps them from falling into the darkness. Hold me, my leash. Never let me go. Oh, Barnabas, she's gonna kill you, dude. You poor fool. One of our sentries has failed to report, my lady. Your orders? Pull the men back inside the care, Geralt. He is here, then. Have them lead Sid and his little pet to the chapel. I shall entertain them there. <sighs> so you've come for me after all. Sidolfo. Sidolfo. Yeah, Chad, as we always say, this on this Twitch channel, tasteful, artful nudity is permitted. Nice Just two trip. nude villains caressing each Love other, you know what I mean? That's time. not going to get us banned. Still, bro, it's still so dark in here. I need to enhance my flame. That looks so cool, though. I miss our days in the bright forest. We should start with the dungeons. They may be holding the bear. So is this uh? Is this where the demo continued, if you chose to? Chat says yes. They're all empty. And you gonna give up? Sid, this gate. Huh, that's funny. So you get, you got some more icons to try out, so you probably presumed you would have them by this point in the story. What do you think? The hand doing most of the lifting. Fun. They actually make R2 pretty uh, hard to pull there. Let's drink this with this. Did you hear that? Unfortunately, yes. Why are they calling you a traitor, Sid? Shit, I should have pulled it. Nice. You 
you know what to do, boy. So, where to next? I have no idea. Where'd my little ball of flame go? Shit. We chose the right door first. This door only leads to more royalists. Never mind. We'd better find another one. Take your pick. Wow. Okay. Good toggle noises. How about a window? Okay, let's check right, up these stairs the first. Then. I do like a little uh, camera that shows you the right where to go, right way to go, so that you know. Maybe you can go up here and peep around for some treasures, you know? Oh shit. Uh, okay. Take my wings! Oh, that was somebody's spell. Got it. Down here, is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Feels like there should have been something more up there, right? Torgal's just guessing most of the time. It's just instinct, yeah. That's all it is. In this gate, yeah, here we go. Hey, fucker. Great. There we go. Hell yeah. A couple of pinches of magic ash. Hello? Is that? No, that's it. Good. I'm so sorry. I can't see out here, bro. Great. This music is nice, dude. castle grounds, huh? They really are allowing us to explore this. Okay. Now 
I think we listen to Torgal's instincts. Torgal? Okay. Shall I? Torgal down there, really? No, okay. Wait, Torgal, you used to tell me not to come this way. What's going on with you, you dumb dog? This was my secret path, Torgal. Okay. Yep, then we come back out into here. Big open courtyard. Now what, Torgal? There we go. I like that, actually. That feels right. Welcome back, Lord Shit. Oh, I'm not staying. That hurt really bad. Oh shit, I didn't have Torgal equipped. You always love seeing your damage go up, you know what I mean? That's our highest stagger damage ever. Still suboptimal, too. What's up? Going down now, Buster. You're dead now, Buster. Okay. I need better from you, Torgal. Never were one for half measures, were you, Benedict? These poor sods didn't know what hit them. Your abilities aren't that precious. I know it. I know it. I know it. Well, uh, it seems to me that Scarlet Cyclone is for AoE, right? When there's too many people around you. But yeah, I should use Rising Flames much more often. All this bloody running. After them. All this bloody running. Where'd they go? Well guarded. Attacking an opponent from the front while it is guarding will deal no damage. Circle to the rear to penetrate its defenses. Mm-hmm. Rising Flames, hey, we're just talking about that. We have them. Seems they were expecting us. You don't say. Stay down. Stay down. Shit. <laughs> Now that's a royal master. Shut up! Shut up! Shut Still and there it is. Shit. There's a mage in there. Get 
you grand prayer. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Ooh, it gave us all the stuff from everybody back here, too. That's nice. The Witcher would never. Yeah, honestly, we probably got everything we could get. Cool. Am I enjoying the combat? A lot, yeah. So there's a really dumb little gimmick where if you press triangle after hitting your opponent in the combo, you do a little bonus damage, just a little bonus puff of flame. So basically, you, you instead of just mashing square, right? You're trying to get yourself in a little pattern, a little rhythm of like square, triangle, square, triangle, square, triangle, square, triangle, you know? And uh, that's just fun. It's fun to like try to get into that rhythm and uh, put a Torgal on top of that. So that's kind of like why I also don't get into like using my special stuff too often is um the rhythm. I want to I want like I'm just trying to get that down, you know. The only way is through the chapel. Then great Griga must have plans for us. Please great Griga. Please great Griga. And you can see like uh potions don't do much for us anymore, huh? We've got so much HP now. You can almost feel the difference in our defense too. Uh, that, you know, that guy who stands still with the two blades wasn't hurting us as bad. Yeah, I'll try to do the circle move after the Torgal combo finisher. What the hell happened here? Little light for prayer, isn't it? Shit. Do I seem so desperate as to grovel at the feet of a false god? <laughs> I was waiting for you. Not for too long, I hope. All this for a midnight chat. This is bad. Well, let's chat then. Where are the men and women you took from Lost Wing? You mean where's the dominant? Well, we shall be requiring his services indefinitely. Come back to me, Sidolphus. I need you. Think of all the things we can create together. The world that we can build. You Join me. need me. <laughs> Your king needs me. I'm all for building a new world. Just not his. That bastard's dreams are as twisted as his promises are false. And I want no part of him. King Barnabas saved you, and this is how you speak of him. Have you no shred of loyalty? What? To a leader who'd use me? Like he uses you. You know nothing of me, Sidolphus. You're right. I don't know who you are anymore. Or what you want. I only know what you used to say. That you were tired of running. That you just wanted to be free. Free of it all. You weren't lying to me then, so what changed? What made you think you had to sacrifice who you were to get what you wanted? Sacrifice? I use my talents to my advantage, and you would tell me there is shame in that? If there's no shame, then why do you feel so sorry for yourself? A rousing speech, Lord Commander. I was a fool to believe you might have changed. The only person I feel sorry for is you! I can't do this anymore. If you would stand between our leash and his dream, then you leave me no choice. Goodbye, Sidolphus. Yeah, right. Oh, back, yeah, yeah, we're this is super anime right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, 
Hell yeah. Legit taking DBZ stances out here. Dare defile Gregor. Boy. Boy. Finish them. Boy. Well, Sid. At least it's not three against one. Shit. Let's do a little bit of this Just for chat. Shit, dude. Shit. I used a potion again by accident. thinking I was about to summon my dog. Shit. They ran into each other. Good shit. Get him. Get fucked. <laughs> I'm trying to dodge those hits. There it is. We gotta get out of that way, though. Fuck! I tried to go through that. You can't. My wounds, boy. My wounds, boy. What is she doing there? The fuck! Fuck! There we go. Fuck, dude, this is a nasty fight. There's always another one right in your back. Okay, there we go, there we go. She doesn't look happy, Toggle. Come on. Torgo, you could heal me, actually. Let's get rid of Let's get that gray health back. Get him, boy! This time. Shit, it's a follow-up.
Okay. Not the time. There's a follow-up to that dear shit. Out of potions. Over here. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Nasty sloppy fight. Yeah, fun fight. Nasty sloppy one. Clouded eye. We we're supposed to come without clouded eyes. No, I hate temp boosts. It's funny you remember that. Yeah, I hate potions that give you extra defense or extra attack. Below average, Joe. Thanks for being a two-monther. Rank B. No, that was good. That was good. I like that that fight gets easier as it goes on. Once you take one down, you're like, okay, this is manageable. We can do this. It's okay I'm out of potions. All right, Sid, let's have a conversation, shall we? Sid, are you all right? Do I look all right? <laughs> Benedicta will be on her way to collect the dominant if she hasn't already. You can't afford to let them leave. Remember, she has wings, you don't. What about you? Before or after I catch my breath. Sorry. Come on, Toggle. He'll be back. Heroes like Sid, they always show up. All right. Torgal, if you can sniff out any potions, that would be very valuable to us right now. We're clean out. She must be here somewhere. Good nose, Torgal. Let's look at the, what that accessory is. It has heat wave in parentheses. Increases heat wave damage, increases scarlet cyclone damage. Fun. Very cool. I do think that those are for dorks and not for us, but interesting. Yeah, let's master this shit, dude. What, does it change the timing? It extends trigger window. Oh my gosh, hell yeah. Okay. That's so nice. Got a lot of potions too. How are we doing? Two potions, one high. Okay. The withdrawal has been signaled. Oh, dude. Come on now. Fuck. Okay, we're alright. Fuck, dude. That's enough. Ready. 
Saving the high potion. I would love to do a natty level up and get uh, full health that way. A projectile counter is very cool. But we don't deal with Phoenix powers. I'm running out of tower. I'm running out of tower. You know what I mean, Chad? It's all delivery. Our lady wants us gone before sunrise. Easily could have been a dorky mob. I'm running. Looks like I'm running out of tower. It's over. Oh, shit. Avengers dialogue? I'm saying it is Avengers dialogue. Just with very different uh, delivery. Heal me, boy! That kind of stuff? Avengers were always saying stuff like that. Shit, that's a big win. You know what to do, boy. Quit your shit. He got the heal off. No way, dude. Shit. Stop fucking healing each other, God damn it! These guys were getting slashed in their faces. I thought like, oh, okay, clearly I interrupted the spell. No, they would still do it afterward. Can we get a simple nah, meh, or yeah on the One Piece live action trailer? Oh, ah. Uh. No, thank you. There were two casting cure, yeah. That made it very frustrating, too. I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting. Wrong button. Fuck. So sometimes I'm still instinctively pressing triangle to do a last second dodge. Fuck you, dude. What's that shit? Looks like there's a mage out there. Just fuck off, dude. Just be dead, dog. Dog, just be dead. God damn it. Fuck. Fuck you. God damn it. Oh, I'm not on dog mode. Fuck off! Fuck off! God damn it! God, that sucks! Fuck! 
He basically juggled me there. I was stuck in there. Not this time. A little help. My wounds, boy. sucked that really sucked that fight was nasty dude i was really hoping we we're gonna get that natty level up there fill up our hp yeah chat said buying high potions not worth it bad tip legitimate bad tip I haven't had full high potions since I was shopping. Excellent. It's over. Oh, we're so close. We're so close. One more baby skirmish, it will be fully leveled up. We're not gonna tower. Torgo barks. Finally. And it's fun, um. I think even in the FF14 music, you get this kind of thing where it's very thematic, right? You hear the same stuff. Many. Oh, no. I confess I expected more from the old man. And less from you. This is the second time you've bested my sisters. My sisters! Men of your talents are rare indeed. Why cost your lot with such undesirables? If it is the hearth you long for, you will find more than enough warmth under my wings. You know exactly what I want. Hand over the dominant, and I'll leave you in peace. You would dare to make demands of me. Demands? Know your place, little lamb. Fool is the shepherd who heats every bleat of the flock. And I will suffer yours no longer. Suffer my bleats! Must I spell it out for you, Branded? No one is listening. No one at all! Come, little lamb. To the slaughter with you. All right, Torgal. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to use that high potion right now. Too slow. Now I see why Chat likes those uh projectile counters so much. That heals me. Uh, I was trying to figure out the timing on that, right? Oh 
shit, I'm not in Torgal mode. That's what's going on. Sorry about the life meter chat. Where I'm so he? sorry. I won't task again. Back to the theme, dude. Good shit, Torgal. Hey! Good oh, shit. Torgal! Cry all you like. Cry all you like. There's no one to save you now. Sid's just catching his breath. He'll be back. And I cannot use Torgal. Shit. Fuck. Not this time. What the This shit. You Yeah! 
piece of shit. Okay. Not this time. Not this time. Oh fuck! There's more. Some more on top of that shit. Oh, okay. All right. Damn. That sucked. So not only did she do the three vertical blades. Hey, at least that refills all our potions. We're fine now. It, she had three more in the tank after that. And then another ball, even. You're she does it for first. Let's get out of there. Oh, shit, not like that! Okay, that was dumb. I deserve whatever damage this deals. <laughs> no, I get that, Clive. <laughs> Same, bro. She's one more fucking, there we go. One more tap away is why I was being so aggressive there. Alright, claps. Reset the combo, I guess, dude. Damn, that sucks. Shit! <laughs> Dog's back, bro. Like that. That's a great health left. My wounds, boy. My wounds, boy. A little help. My wounds, Torgle.
wounds, boy. That sucked. Yeah, about time for the level up. Thank you, game. I needed that a long time ago. The Wheel of Fire increases Rising Flame's will damage by 10%. Now that's a little better. <laughs> Is the combat hard carrying you this game? That's the design. I, I, how? That's what they wanted from the start. How did you do it? How did you even survive? How? The answer is simple, Benedicta. He was fighting for something he believed in. Shut up! Why aren't you dead? We've played your games. Now tell me where he is. Who? What are you? I'll be taking this. Why? Hey, wink. Yeah, I took that from you. Don't what? you understand? It's mine now. <laughs> Hell yeah. She, she's gone. What, what's uh, happening? Mega Man, baby. Give her back. Give her back! Give her back! My lady! Geralt. Where is she? Chat's favorite video game Where character. Garuda? found a way out. Clive, this place is ready to collapse, and I'd rather not be here when it does. If your dominance started this fire, and I'm betting he did, he'll be long gone. Damn it all. With great power is the name of that trophy. Oh yeah, you can see it. We're still in boss mode. Was that? <laughs> How do I, I know your name is Margrace? Oh, we talked about Margrace. Mysterious man that many believe to be a dominant of fire. He is rarely seen without his heavy robe, nor his loyal attendant. The two journey together far and wide across the realm to an unknown end. Servant of a man who goes by the name of Lord Margrace. Together they travel across the twins. 
to some unknown end. Bonded, your grace. The villagers escaped in the confusion. As should we. Yes. Yes, of course. As should we. Oh, look. Morning has broken. At last. And here come the cavalry, itching to butcher the bastards who made him miss their morning gruel. Come on. If they catch us leaving a burning care, people might jump to conclusions. Right. All right, chat. So here's the thing. I actually hate it when games incentivize uh, you dying. It's a new day. So when I walk into that fight, you know, with zero potions, um, I'm incentivized to just litter kill me so I can refresh my potions so I can make a good attempt. You know what I mean? I guess the good thing is that the fight had checkpoints um, throughout it. So that, like, it makes sense to try to get as far as you can into this fight before you run out of potions. But yeah, I almost wish they didn't refresh your potions when you die. Bad potion management on my end? No, bad tip from chat. <laughs> if, I, if I had three high potions, I probably would have survived on my first attempt. They probably won't on hard mode. I hope so, yeah. Swap potion off of up on the D-pad? Well, the thing is, like, you know, it's I'm almost never, it's almost never, like, um, 90% health and I use a potion by accident. But yeah, we, we can change that. We can change that. She seemed to take more damage, too, in the second attempt, did she? Thoughts on the game so far? Yeah, I saw somebody asking for happy meter. We gotta do We gotta do a little bit of adjustment here. Um, this has gotta go away. This has gotta go away. Uh, this comes back. This goes away. There we go. Um, let's go... Pleasantly vibing. I feel like pleasantly vibing. We have not hit the highs of the demo yet. Gil XP and skill points are affected by battle performance. So, like, what changed, though? You know what I mean? Like, there's no actual, like, feedback for that. Was the demo at Yabba Dabba do? Not quite, no. So you don't want to die if you can manage to win without it. Got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it. We're talking about the incentive of like, hey man, I just want potions. I just want high potions. There's an option to retry with potions or return to the main menu and load save. Got it. You're right, absolute uppercut. I guess we could have done that. <laughs> but why would you? Oh, I like this. So this is like Nero stuff. We get a little hand. The action will can also topple larger enemies that become partially staggered when the will gauge reaches 50%. Toppling an enemy in this manner can deal significant damage. Okay. Outside of the potions thing, what did I think of that fight? 
Uh, it was just okay. It, honestly, I think it like it sucks to know more than Clive does right now. I think Clive's like kind of stupid. She's out here like, what? How did you win? And Clive's like, I don't know. Let me suck your powers real quick. Like, what are you, Clive? What are you doing, dude? I'm ready for Clive to catch up to us. You know? <laughs> it looked pretty cool to watch. I thought the, um, the forest fight looked cooler than that fight. How is he stupid? He's unquestioning. He He's stupid because he's, like, singularly motivated on, like, killing this person we as the audience know is not the culprit of you know what i mean like we're we're so misaligned with the character right now we know way more than he does so it's like clive we don't we know you're not even gonna kill that person dude like chill out but he won't because he thinks that person killed his little brother you know what i mean like i feel like we're treading water in the story right now and i'm just ready for clive to catch up Yeah, I know what Clive's point of view is, chat, and it's annoying. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, chat. Even if we believe that Margrace digivolved into Ifrit and killed his little brother, uh... The way they're presenting Margrace is like, it's not going to be a satisfying vengeance. You know what I mean? Like, we're clearly not meant to hate Margrace. So like, yeah, like, who cares? Who cares about what Clive wants right now? We don't want what Clive wants. So that's, the, you know what I mean? We're misaligned with the protagonist. And so it's annoying to like, watch him be like, dumb um look how many uh summons you can have equipped I, I would think it would just be one at a time that's just wild benedicta said you'd taken her power you don't still have it do you? I, I, I do brother high potion oh cool did not expect this to be so interconnected I think I do. Story's pretty mid. It just wasn't at all in the demo. Demo had me hooked. And we'll get there. We just got like we just gotta wait for Clive to catch up, you know? The Rook's Gambit. Jump back, then deliver a punishing counter. If the jump evades an attack, counter potency increased. Can be used midair. Hmm. Nah. Really no? Yeah, really no. Okay. Yeah, I'll save up for good shit. Alright. Yeah, look at look at gouge, dude. Hell yeah. No, you have gouge. This would be upgrading. I would be mastering it. Yeah, let's just master this shit. So what would mastering that do? Claw range, cool. Allows assignment to any icon. Ha. Ha ha ha. Okay. That's wild. Aerial blast! That's fun, but that's not cool for like a boss. It is, because look at how much stun damage it does. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I can feel it. Save your it's shit. Inside me. Along with the flames. Well, are you not keen to try now? What could possibly go wrong? There it is. Okay, yeah, I like that. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. We like the grab. We like it. We like it, we like it, we like it. That's nice. 
It's a Mega Man game. Yeah, you beat a boss, you get their powers. Don't go this way. You know you can't go this way. You saw the block on the map. Yeah, just looking for treasures, you know. All right. Come, come here, worm. <laughs> Get him. Yeah, I love the grab. Hell yeah. I love it. I love it. Just check out what's going on first. I see some shit this way. <laughs> you there! Sick of Toggle. You there! <laughs> Ooh, the grab, dude. That's just nasty. Did I get a haircut? Like two weeks ago. For LA, I got my, I got my haircut, uh, yeah, before I went to LA. Look at the scenery. Look at the scenery. Wow. Cool. Chat hates fake lens flares because they think that video games shouldn't have lenses. Shit. <laughs> oh, fuck. A little later. It's over. Iframes, Elvis. Damn. Where are my iframes? Ooh. Okay, so one minor problem with the grab power that I love so much. Is that it does not work against larger enemies. Who have over 50% health or stat. Come on with that tail. Come on, man. Come on. My wounds, boy. So let's see what it does now. It will pick it up in the air. Shit. Struggling to reach the heights of our uh, Phoenix damage. Die. 
You have a short window to grab them when they get to 50% stagger. Yeah, it worked once. It looks like we got the one in. We took them up in the air, but then you could not repeat it. Garuda's abilities inflict a lot of stun. Phoenix's abilities do a lot of damage. I see. So that's to incentivize us swapping. Dang. And to do that, we would hold down L2. Not even hold. Okay. Cute. And then you can mash square while using gouge. Interesting. Hello? Oh, it's only me. Gav. Damn it, Gav. Are you trying to get yourself killed? Damn it, it's not Gav. Me who's been playing with fire. <sighs> Don't do things by half, steer. This way. Yeah, that was nice. Is that we got it got up to like one point four times multiplier. So if it wasn't you or him who freed the bears, so who that's was when you it? switch to damage. Good question. Someone who didn't have their hands full fighting a bloody half of it, I guess. But what matters is they're safe. Something they wouldn't be had it not been for you, Gav. Ah, just doing me job, like. So, uh, what about his dominant? Gone. And after we were so close. Well, uh, I can track him. Yeah, right, Gav. Why would you? Sid told us about your family. Lost me into Imperial Steel. Sometimes vengeance is the only thing that keeps you going. Thank you. Go safely, brothers. Look at Torgal, come on, man. <laughs> I reckon he likes you. Chat, teach me. What did that tongue movement mean? Sh she's gone. Teach me social cues. She's gone. My lady, you have to hold on. We're going to get gone, you. Gone, gone, gone. What am I going to do? My Barnabas. How long to the coastal road? At this pace, we won't make it by sunset. He'll know. He'll cast me out like all the others. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? My lady. <laughs> Unaffected. She's just out, dude. She's checked out. Carol. <laughs> nice tosses. One axe, one kill. What do we have here? <laughs> Fetch a good price, I reckon. Well, we'd be doing the slavers a disservice if we didn't <laughs> praise our work. Stay away! <laughs> Flashback? It's all right. They can't hurt you anymore. Come on, let's go home. Is this it, Sadolphus? My punishment for not listening to you?
he still has it, baby. She still has it. Sid. They've got a connection. Do you feel it too? Garuda. By the flames. Sometimes this game is like CG cutscene quality. Can't control it. If Garuda isn't stopped, that vortex will swallow this whole forest. This is crazy, dude. And I'll stop her. You'll stop her. I heard it again. Someone is calling me. Damn it, lad. That doesn't mean you have to listen. Well, I should have gone with you. Hell yeah. Clive, I don't think you understand. That's not just windy weather you're wandering into. Benedictus rage knows no bounds. And that's on a good day. I don't want to know what's waiting inside that. But I do. I have to find out. And I'm not turning back. Of our mind. Too big, too big to grab. It'd just be that kick. Fuck. Grab didn't work, Chad. There it is. Okay, that's the grab. My bad. That's the wrong grab. One more, one more. There we go. There we go. So you switch to this. You do this shit. You do this shit. Okay, then you switch to this. You do 
that shit. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. No, I pressed triangle instead of grab. Saving my potions, you know I want that natty level up heal, you know? I don't have the slam down move, actually. I never bought it. Give that grab. Shit. All right, there we go. Not this time. Wanted to do it, Natty. Actually, we're not getting a ton of experience from these fights. It's coming pretty slow. Loco Luca, thanks for being a 28 monther. Can we get a great emotions experience counter from this playthrough? Okay, yeah. Uh, I feel like we're at currently three great emotions. You have like a one second window to do the grab. Copy that. We got it a few times. Um. They let me teleport back home. I should do some spending. He's in there. I know it. EXP is slow from grinding when you could get good AP. Didn't know that. Good, good tip, goo baby. I assumed that was just coming every level up. Oh, look at that. They're kind of allowing us to maybe. Oh, what's this? No side quests. I don't know why we would go there, but they're just saying you can if you want to. If you so choose. Okay, all right, come on up. Don't be weird, come up. Come up. Come up. Come on up. Come on up. Do it. All right, it's just gonna be weird. Ooh, nothing new here, actually. Yeah, no, he's got the icon. Okay. Well? Well? What's that for, India? Yes, yes. Ooh, a dark sash as well. Yes, yes. All of this, yes. Yes, steel crowns, yes. Oh, okay, so my shit's old. Compared to all this stuff, man. See, I don't, Chad, I actually don't know if that's worth it, though. All right, come on up, then. Come on up, then. There you go. Break before we go back? Okay, let's do it. Let's do some crafting. You're a nuisance. You are. You're a regular nuisance. Oh, we got we got a lot of clouded eyes anyway. All right, now we upgrade it. 
You can find me later. Cool. And then, yeah, maybe we uh, pick up some of these little doodads. I want the steel crowns. I don't care about the boost to HP. I want the boost to defense. Okay, let's do it then. It'll last you a good while. My best work, but it'll do. That will do. And? No, so far I have not done a single good side quest. Uh, not, not a lot have popped up, though. Yes? Yes? What? Going purse weighing you down? You could say that. Ooh, we could buy the dark sash outright. Sure. It'd better all be here. They're cheap. Chat potions are cheap. Come on now. You'll not find a better price than that. Trying to talk me out of buying potions? Come on now. All right, so let's get that dark sash. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Yeah, yeah. Karen, fine. I see I'm busy here. The same for you, dear. Reinforce my dark sash, please. You can thank me later. Yeah, that should do you. And then we should go Let's talk to uh, For now, we rest. Tomes. Tomes. Where are you? I heard they escaped their monsters. Why are you being so sweet, dude? What's going on? Tams. Where's Tomes? Where's the restaurant? Do you think we should go and help? We found it. We did not need to check the little map. Maps are for fools. Good day. Maps are for fools. Come on, it's not a big city. Please level two. Come on now. Come on. Yes! Ravenous Reader! For you today. Now we can learn about Aegis. Dating back to antiquity. The term Aegis has historically been used to describe those ethereal entities that can be conjured by dominance. Edges are capable of casting potent magics corresponding to the elemental alignment of their creators. Though unquestionably formidable, they will fade immediately should the dominant who gave them being happen to be slain. The dating system used throughout the twins, which marks the years of the realms, that has passed since the signing of the Continental Accord some 800 years ago. In the centuries since, nations have risen and fallen, and the concord between them has faltered, but the calendar persists. If you have a question for me, I should be happy to answer it. No, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Wow, look how, like, full persons of interest is already. The door to the shelves shall ever be open. Sure. Will Mucho heal if I ask? Absolutely not. He doesn't give a shit about my gray health. Yeah, it's nice lighting. It's very nice lighting. It's very nice lighting. All right, we'll take a quick break. We'll do it when we get back. I got a feeling that we have an epic boss fight coming. I got a feeling, I got a feeling monsters will clash. And I'm looking forward to that. I'm, 
Mucho's, Mucho's kind of interested too. So I think there's at least two people on this side who are pretty pumped. Ready for some monster battles, right? Are you ready for monster battles? What are you doing? Okay, yeah, he's ready. All right, chat, quick break. We'll be right back. See you soon. Oh yeah, Mucho's truck's still holding up. He's just my moochie cat. He's just my moochie cat. All right, let's get back to fast traveling. Infirmary, dude, we gotta crack that thing open. He's just my moochie cat. He's just my moochie cat. All right. To the battle, Moosho. To the eye of the tempest. You're clearly the villain! Wait! Why? 
Chat wants you dead What's too. That? The dominant. The man who killed my brother. Are you absolutely certain? I've seen him every night for the past 13 years. Watched as the flames of his eye contact Joshua. Ow! Good kick, brother. Shit! I'm here, and so's Togo. Don't worry about us. Good kick. You've been waiting for this. I've seen oh, him use shit! that kick on a harpy. Chat's like, oh man, I hope that hooded figure dies. Ooh, buddy! Where did he go? What a beautiful game! <laughs> Hysteric laughter, yeah. I'm not here for you, Faruga! your light motifs again chat she's toying with me Hell yeah, dude. Oh my god, the details. Where is the dominant? Okay. Take down. Larger enemies will become partially staggered when their wheel gauges are reduced to 50%. Using Garuda's deadly embrace on a partially staggered enemy will topple it, leaving it vulnerable to follow-up attacks. So what you would naturally do is press L2 and then circle. There it is.
does a lot of stagger damage. Look at her teeth. Shit, the tornadoes. Oh, it's coming. Tornado's coming. Shit! I tried to get out of the way. All right, are you done doing that shit? All right, so I actually um, really liked that fight. I don't know. I don't know if I've ever actually done that in a video game, um, where there's like, you know how much I hate like torso boss fights where the to the you end up just like fighting like a torso of a boss who's just like, Ur, 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 Ur. you know, really cool that she's really just like crawling around with you in that fight. Jojo's Denko, thanks for being a 36 monther. Congrats on three years. The boss on all fours. Yeah, that was really cool. That was really nice. That's what we're looking for right there. It's not like a Souls fight where you basically skip to their arse the whole time. <laughs> it's not like that, yeah. It's about uh, getting your counters, right? At least to me. It doesn't seem... Based off of my skill level right now, I can't be aggressive. I have to just wait for the opponent to just kind of swoop in first. But yeah, that was fun. Really, really cool. We've seen it before. You don't you don't kill an icon that easily though. Yeah, right. This guy thinks he won. Get real, bro. <laughs> yeah, come on now. Come on now. That's a god. <laughs> Okay. 
Ifrit has such a Godzilla face. I love it. They didn't believe me. They didn't believe me. They said only one fire icon. They are forced to believe Sid. Yeah. Observe. Watch and learn. I feel like when they did, um, they had like press come and preview the game, right? This is what that came out of it, right? I feel like I've seen this setup before. This was the preview stuff. Cool. Regular slashes do good damage, bro. Yeah, right, yeah, right. Good adjustment, good adjustment. Oh, that still worked. So basically, we had a little bit of armor. We still took the damage. Projectile battle, this is fun.
fuck, I let her take that. Dude, oh, you got your tummy. That's a lot of XP, brother. Come on now. Let's get 18 out in the wild. Wind shot. Hmm. Interesting. Hey, get away, maybe, Sid? It is you, isn't it, Clive? Stop this! Now! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give him the stop. Looks like Immortals of Avium. young pup. I said stop. <laughs> I 
I'll zap you. <laughs> Cool, Ramu. Glad he's got some feet. Yeah, yeah, of course you're gonna cough up blood after that, dude. He had to do it. You're too nice, is your problem. He's talking to himself. Bloody mess, this. Ramu is always the no most chill summon. True. It was inside you all along. <laughs> I'll be damned if I know what that means. Said you gotta tell him, okay? Because we're sick of him not knowing. You have to listen to him. Banner. This can't be what you wanted, can it? It's a good walk away. A lot communicated in that mocap. Holy shit. Sometime later? What are we doing? Right? What are we doing? What do you mean sometime later? What do you mean? Oh, oh, what's going on, dude? Oh, no. Desperate. <laughs> Personally, Holy your shit. Eyes. Of course. So we're gonna get a Zonta Tsukin, dude. One hit KO. Breath, fill your wings. Holy shit. shit I've ever seen in a video game. You're looking at it. Holy fuck. <laughs> Holy shit.
<laughs> we form the cohorts. At what? Your Highness. Saboteurs. Their attacks are frequent and widespread, even in the Holy Capital. The Capital? What of my father? Is His he... radiance is safe. But he has ordered the city guard strengthened. We can expect no reinforcements. That is of no matter. The Emperor's safety is paramount. It is of no matter. I shall deal with our enemies here. He's going back out? Is that a sip of Gatorade? Coach put him back in. <laughs> Crazy. That's a goofy salute. It's basically Wakanda forever. There you go, Clive. God. I'm so glad they did not draw that out further. I killed Joshua. Ooh. Man. Ah, you're awake. You're just full of surprises. First that trick with Garuda, then... Whatever the hell that other thing was. Didn't know you had it in you. Do it. Hey. Chop me. Kill me. It was me. I killed him. I killed Joshua. I killed them all. I'm a monster. And I deserve to die. So end it! End it! Now. Please! Please! Ah! I reckon I can take you. If that's what you want. <laughs> but first, I thought I'd give you the benefit of my timeless wisdom. It seems to me, you see, that since you're still breathing, you might as well make yourself useful. Get dressed. Pretty as you are, you're not my type. I'll uh, see you in the hall. Looks better than The Witcher. Thanks for being an 18 monther. Very relevant tonight. Holy shit. Sorry, bub. Not my top. <laughs> what are you going to do now? Good shit, brother. The wages of guilt. Quest lock. There are certain times during the game that side quests will become temporarily unavailable until progress has been made. Fair enough. Uh. May as well hear what he has to say. So you know I was frustrated, right? With like, you know, Clive not getting up to speed, but that was an excellent payoff. Felt warranted. If Ben Starr goes to the TGAs, will I say hi? No, I'm, you know, I'm pro mode. I'll say hello back, but I won't approach anybody. Um. Look at this lighting, dude. My God. Um. That was really good shit. And you know what else was good shit? 
this fight between Bahamut and Odin. Talk, talk about Final Fantasy IX, dude. Uh, just seeing the clash of these summons, so sweet. Um, right after that moment, it was cool. I think we'd be feeling like a little dour. I, I feel like we'd be feeling like super down if they cut from you killed Benedictia for no damn reason and then wake up screaming because you realize you killed your little brother. Be a tough back-to-back. -back. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy shit. Excellent performances. Really, I mean, cutscene direction, ridiculous in this game. Even just, even the scene down here where he's chained up, right? Just like the shots that they're pulling. Super tight camera angles with like shaking chains in there. Really, really good shit. Feels movie-like. Feels more movie-like than... Don't go making me throw you back in there now, eh? Maybe some other video game directors who love movies. Did you see the girl Sid brought back with him? I did. Truly good I shit, you know? Dressed in dirty rags. I'll have to make a new dress for her. Make it quick. Fortune, name names? No, 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 no. There's, a, there's a lot of, there's that applies. No, chat. No, no, no. That applies to a lot of directors out there. No, 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 no. Um. Okay. So here's the thing. We wonder if this is like a Souls game. You only get one wind shard, and so it's like, do I save it for something else or do I use it for the weapon? I feel like that's a Souls question. Will the weapon fights be like this? In Final Fantasy VII? Yeah. Make the sword, Kyle. That's what I'm wondering. Do we do it? Souls is not. Make the weapon. Okay. So then, I chat, I do feel a little bit of a fool for always just making whatever weapon's available. It does seem like maybe it's worth stockpiling for a second, you know? bad if i do say so myself you may oh but i see we can't upgrade it now and chat says later on in the game you can upgrade it cool and we'll hold off on crafting more uh accessories too i don't want to burn through all my shit they want you to have a cool weapon it is a cool weapon Garuda had to die for that, though. Garuda lives. Benedictia had to die for this. Yeah. That sucks. Finally crawled out of the crypt, eh? You look like it. Although I thank you for doing us the courtesy of covering up. Don't. Well, still have a bit of fight left in you. Then listen. I've arranged a meeting with Gav. In case you've forgotten... You're the one he's been putting his nose to work for. For nothing. Just listen. Just While you've been relaxing listen. in your cell, Gav's been busy sniffing out your dominance. And according to his last report, he's picked up the scent. Gav's gone to a fair bit of trouble for you. The least you can do is hear the poor bugger out. He's going to meet us at the King's Fall. Pack your stuff. We'll leave as soon as you're ready. I feel like the next geniness is generally like the the details. Level of details and lighting. Keeping this game looking pristine. Next gen, next level. Just got a Sonic Frontiers update. It's the birthday update. What are you doing in here? 
You're just sweeping Sid's room? What are you doing in here? You're up to something. Is this Sid's bathroom? I actually can't see in here. So I'm thinking, this it's pretty crazy. I don't know if Sid has ever had this big of a role in a Final Fantasy game. Sid is essential. This third is you greedy pig. You greedy pig. All right, I guess we'll uh, go then. Ping dong. Yeah, we're quest locked right now, dude. Something's up. Something is up. FF7 Sid? Nah. Not as essential as this Sid. FF7 Sid is like, God, I'm a fuck up. Ah, oh, damn it, I'm such a fuck up. You know, that's like his whole deal. Oh, I'm just a piece of shit fuck up. This Sid is our mentor, dude. This Sid drags us out of the darkness. That's I relate so much to FF7 Sid. Me too. Me too. Route. Can't relate at all and to this Sid. He's just came. a good guy. The people left. And just like that, it was deserted. Making it the perfect little shortcut. Gab's waiting for us up ahead. Come on. I actually don't even remember FF12, Sid. I would love to replay FF12 someday. Still feeling sorry for yourself? Don't. Please, think about it, Clive. The rumors all point to... Uh oh Gav? That was an Imperial signal. Oh, no. They shouldn't be here. The old fort's been abandoned for years. Our little chat can wait. I need to see what the bastards are up to. You go on ahead and meet up with Gav. But we both know that... No buts about it. Yeah, Sid's too clean, man. He's too clean for this world. Delcaso level so far? It's interesting, man. It's like, uh... I don't know if anything truly unexpected has happened in the game today. This is stupid. I'm the dominant of fire. We sent Gav on a wild goose chase. But it's all just so fucking awesome, you know? Do the words manufactured nethesite mean nothing to you? They do not know. Oof. Ooh, that's a really nice little simulation, huh? The way it's not a uniform water flow, that just, you know, parts of it flow into the others. God, that's nice. Ooh. Whenever Huber says manufactured nethesite, I assume he's doing Albert Wesker. Oh, we got some spiders, Chad. Just think of them as uh, N64 spiders with big old barrels over their stingers. More killing. Wet out. Forgot turtles here. I need to appreciate the uh, the alerts better. I understand them now. They're like little squares that fill up. Once the square is full, you're in danger. I guess not. No, it must be distance. Oh, 
Holy shit, I can't stop looking at this water, man. Right down in your bottom left-hand corner, you can kind of understand how the illusion works, right? It's not as quite of a smooth transition into the uh, different layers. You notice there's no battle music, like, reflecting Clive is feeling lost right now and not in the moment. Or killing, he says, yeah. We're gonna keep it up with the, <laughs> with the lore, kind of. I mean, we don't, we don't need more. We got it. We know Gav. It's actually kind of wild that uh, I look forward to these battles, you know what I mean? I want to fight. Yo, big beast, Yancha. What are you doing, Minotaur? Just charging as a Minotaur does. Two, there we go, there we go, there we go. Shit, I got greedy there. Look, hey, I mean, he's like one hit away. Shit, most of those missed. That's a lot of stagger damage regardless. This guy's a big boy, dude. Actually, that's crazy. Yeah, we have not met a Moogle yet. Good point. Minotaur main. You ever told you what my favorite summon is? Um. I really liked um another perfect little shortcut Sid. Straight to a nest of bloodthirsty beasts. Oh, don't be sassy to Sid now. Uh Diablo in FF8 was a fave. <laughs> Diablos, excuse me, Diablos. I like Anima in FF10. Final Fantasy X's got, got some really good ones. Uh, Bahamut looks really good in Final Fantasy X. Good Shiva in Final Fantasy X. Can't be much further now. 
the B sisters we talked about. I could not draw for you a single Final Fantasy XII summit. Couldn't draw one. They're a mess. Widow, that's not Bruce. Cool. It's Like, when it says new enemies approach, I'm stoked. I say bring it on. Alright, these hornets are in dude. Good shit, good shit. Thank you, Torgal. <laughs> cool. <coughs> Doom Train is the best summon. It's a good pick. Good freaky, good freaky summon. Alexander's great, yeah. Alexander's nice. Thank you for the potions. Another big boy, damn. They think I've got some crazy damage output here. Oh, come on, let me through. He's so sassy right now, shit. I pressed the wrong button. Took the damage, dude. Damn. Fuck. Oh, come on now. Come on now. Torgal. My wounds, boy. My gray health. Fuck. Torgal. Me with this shit. Alright, kill me off, Torgal. I'm sick of this. Well done, Torgal. A little health. I've got way too much gray health, Torgal. My wounds, boy. Huh. <laughs> 
Damn. Nasty fight, brother. Pretty crazy they just expect you to knock those out. Torgal heals like 10 HP per second. That's funny. It's nice to know that was like a mini boss then, basically. If it's right before this cutscene. Torgal does not have a skill tree, no. After the topple, you should use your Garuda skills to get closer to a full knockdown, but I don't, I still need them for when it is knocked down. I disagree. What is it, boy? The uppercut's pretty bad, actually. The Garuda uppercut's nasty. Oh, that's Gav. Gav! Gav! Who goes there? This one's a dessert! Take his head! Out of my way. You made your choice! Fuck. Look how huge you are, damn. There he is! Don't let him escape! Kill the deserter! Kill the deserter! Clive, what's the situation? You're late! Get in trouble! The Imperials are on his tail. We have to get to him before they do. Understood. I'm here to even the odds. Any objections? I'll take the dragon. You take the dragoon. So I do think right now, right? He's, oh, fuck, dude. That's rude. He's got a ton of uh, meter, right? So I think it makes sense to use these now. Bro, can you chill out? Can you stop doing an attack for one little second, please? Okay. All right, just give me potions. This is where I'm just like, potion me up, game. Fill me up. <laughs> Fuck. At least Sid's almost done with the dragon. Where'd you go? Shit, I missed my timing. Press the wrong buttons. Can you just hit, like, hit Sid? Look at Sid. Look at the other guy for a second. Look at this other guy with electric powers. Look at his shit. Not this time. That'll help. Look at the other guy. Yeah, I hate being in this scenario. This happens a lot, I feel like. I didn't charge up on potions last time I was in town. That hurt. 
Big time. I had the timing for that down. <laughs> yep, fill up my potions game. Thank you. Oh, oh no. Too early. Damn. That was a really bad checkpoint. You guys got too much HP for that game. Captain an attack that time. Done total. Early. Late. God damn it. What's this? Mirage dive. Fuck. You can just do that whatever you want? Okay. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Fine. Enjoy yourself. Okay. There we go, Sid. There we go, buddy. Bloody time wasted. Come on, let's finish him off. Dude, really tough fight. 
Really tough fight. That was nasty. You're leaving tons of damage on the table. There's nothing I hate worse, though, when they're just sitting there staggered and I'm on cooldown. Imperial Link. Many tendered explanations as to how the Imperial Dragoons are able to leap to such absurd heights. Uh, from the power of prayer to a strict diet of hare, toad, and crickets. But none save the knights themselves know the truth. Cute. Whatever the secret, it is plain that the heavy plate would only prove a hindrance. And so the Empire equips its dragoons with armor forged from lighter than linen mithril. mithril. This link is part of a vest that would have been worn beneath the breastplate. Cool. We got two of them. Come on. No, Garuda has two specials for me right now. Gouge, which is awesome because it racks up your combo, and then a really bad Shoryuken. Like, it's not going to shred a stagger bar if you can just use it once every once in a while. Shit! <laughs> God! Excellent jump, Torgal. That branch is so slippery. Give me a break. I don't even understand, like, that enemy moves around too much to gouge it. Are you using gouge against that dragoon who just hops and slashes you whenever it wants to? Yeah, right. Gouge against the troll? I get it. Clive doesn't have your nose, I said. He'd stumble off a cliff, I said. Well, that's a trouble with a nose like You can mine. nail him after Can't a half stagger with deadly grass. Wanted. But if it wasn't for you two, my sniffing deers would be... Chat, this advice sounds insane to me. I feel like I, I love your lore advice, but I feel like I'm getting inundated with stuff that, like, you're, you're, like, trying to teach me, like, a golf swing. Gouge when 50% staggered. The problem is, at, when they're 50% staggered, you get the free pull them down, right? Then you're, like, seconds away from fully staggering them. It goes from 50% staggered to, like, zero really quickly. You're saying that I gouge at 50, and then by the time they're fully zero, I'm going to have gouge rebuffed again? Yeah, right. Yeah, right. It's not the halfway point. It's not the halfway point because the, the difference between 100 and 50 is way bigger than 50 to zero. All right. You should just use regular attacks plus magic burst. Honestly, we were doing more stagger damage when we were doing that. We totally were. We were doing like 9,000 stagger damage. And now that I'm like trying to like optimize with like adding to our combos and shit, uh, we're doing less stagger damage. Over. Thank you. Truly.
So, what news? Well, uh, found out where your friend's heading for one thing. Gav, I. Him and his mate are on their way to your stomping ground. Rosaria. Good question. You should have seen what they did to the Imperials who tried to stop them. There's no question about it. He's a dominant fire, all right. He can't be. Clive, I saw you turn into an icon before my very eyes. And yes, there's a good chance it was you who killed the Phoenix. I like how his two hilts are opposites. Along, we? It was the fellow you saw enter the whirlwind. I, I saw him too. Nice. You didn't dream it, Clive. He's out there. But who is he? Don't ask me. I don't bloody know. Good puff. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> well, I don't know one thing. You're gonna find him and find out. After all, you swore an oath. Mm. What? You swore you'd avenge your brother's death. That you'd never rest until you'd hunted down the man responsible. So? Find out if this man's responsible and kill yourself if he's not. Sit. I... Don't thank me. Thank Gav. <laughs> thank you, Gav. Thank you, Gav. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> and then he did like a little get out of here motion. It was a let's get out of here motion. Okay. No birds returning this year. No birds. The deadlands have swallowed their roosts, like as not. We're running out of time. We'll be in Rosaria in a day or two. Back to where it all began. He must be stopped. Well, that is indeed a surprise. That's our dead brother. Is it a surprise? It is not who I expected. Spitting great gouts of fire, he was like a bleeding volcano. Ever seen a volcano? What? You think I'm having you on? Clive! You think I'm having you on? Your friend! She's awake! Right. <sighs> Go to her, you fool. I'm sorry for chopping you up. Right, you lot. Enough slacking. Goose, I was a mercenary at the time. Gav, go and get those wounds seen to. I'm different now. Oh, I'm different now. Oh, give it to me straight. How long have I got? <laughs> so? Cute. All in good time. Let's make ourselves scarce. Very cute. Jill. Gav is a standout. I want to go that far, chat. <laughs> is it the Moogle funny? <laughs> the I Moogle? wonder what it's trying to say. Oh, shit. There it is. <laughs> they even have a Moogle. I've never seen one in the flesh. It's so gross. Oh, no, they didn't have the, the guts. said in my father's bestiary that they live deep in the forest and that they never reveal themselves to humans. That's such a cop-out. Nectar, you say? Nectar, key. Clive. <laughs> <laughs> S 
So it would seem. He understands Mughal tongue. I've been trying to talk to these people ever since the winds carried me here. That sounds... painful. But now you hear my papa, I'm safe at least. You can hear me. You can finally hear me, KB. It's our little secret, KB. <laughs> Uh, binge, thanks for being a 17 monther. Can I get an oh yeah for winning a 14 person poker mini tournament? Hell yeah, that's cool. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Um. Yeah, I would like to reach out my hand. Uh. How do I change the enemy? Training options. Select target. Okay, so we're gonna talk about using this more for this shit. Look, if that big guy just fucking takes it, you know what I mean? I feel like that... Oh, it's not aggressive. Okay. Do you see what I mean about the difference between 50 and 0 being way shorter than the difference between 50 and 100? Alright, do the math here, chat. Four, eight, six, five. Really bad, actually. Really, really bad. Well, you didn't end it with two supers like you normally do. Yeah. Okay, so let's try again. Let's do this. Yeah, that, that attack sucks. That attack's straight up bad. I don't get it. I don't get the hype. Oh, I messed up. Oh, there we go. Still got it in time. That was a lot more damage. I mean, I did get, I got one of my reds in there, which helps out a lot, I guess. So yeah, I feel like if maybe if I went with the regular combo one. Yeah, this is a practice dummy. Seven foot fiend, thanks for being a 10 month or you're watching Brandon plays Pokemon again. Hell yeah, still holds up. So yeah, basically the idea is that, sorry, this one, look at those numbers, they suck. Look at that, look, 22's in there? Brutal, but um, they're at least making your combo multiplier go up. I think that's the idea. But yeah, I wonder if it's worth it. Can you see Garuda? Uh, it seemed like no. It seems like you can only do, like, uh, regular monsters. Does Sid look like Nathan Drake? No. Not even close. Combo multiplier doesn't matter? It does. It's true, then. It really is you. Clive, you're 
alive. So are you. I still can't believe it. Are your wounds healed? Yeah. Yes. Taya told me what happened. You saved my life. After nearly taking it, I had no idea. Forgive me, but how did you ever come to be there, Jill? Fighting for them. Let's figure out who they are, chat. The Iron Kingdom. It decrees the use of magic to be anathema, and the bears and dominants who use it are sinful aberrations. So these are the brutes. These are the people who will not use swords. They will only use axes and mallets, <laughs> uh, leading to an even greater discrimination than that suffered by the brethren in the mainland. Given that their stated desire is to control all the mothers, the Iron Blood's attitude to other nations is one of indelible antagonism. So yeah, we don't know how they got... Jill. The Iron Blood. They invaded not long after the news arrived about Fink's Gate. Rosaria had lost her leaders. The Duchy was in chaos. The Iron Kingdom saw our weakness and pounced upon it. Hmm. They killed the men and captured the women. took you back to Aino. I thought they meant to have their fun with me before the end. But the end never came. My powers awoke and everything changed. It all happened so fast. We were told that the Iron Blood had captured a dominant and planned to bring her on their latest crusade. Hmm. They gave me a choice. To fight for them on the battlefield or... See my countrywomen slaughtered. And they call us dominance. You what? too? You got one too? Yeah. What happened to Clive? What happened at Phoenix Gate? <laughs> oh, I'm Ifrit, by the way. <laughs> it was me. I killed Joshua. No, that's not true. I know you, you wouldn't do that. It's the truth. I changed into him again, not long ago. The second icon of fire. The one responsible. <laughs> Clive. When I think back to that night. The hooded man. He... He spoke to me. What did he say? Sarsis. We have found you. What did he mean? Clive, we should go back there, to Phoenix Gate. Why? I need to know what really happened, and so do you. You need to know for certain. That was 13 years Only ago, Jill. What you told me is true, and you did what you said you did. Then we will face it together. Jill, I... All right. All right. You'll be needing a change of clothes, then. Out you go, your lordship. We wouldn't want you getting overexcited. 
Uh, sorry. I'll see you soon then. What does she mean Bye. by that? I should be ready too. We have a long journey ahead of us. Um, no. I did not say I found you during that part. I think I said, fuck you. I did not predict that he said I found you. I did say I found you? Oh, all right. Can we get Moogle lore? There's no way there's gonna be Moogle lore, I wish. I can go talk to the Moogle again. No, 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 because she said overexcited. Explain to me what it would mean to be overexcited. Moogle's gone. Yeah, tomes might have some Moogle lore. Newcomer, I need help. What's the matter? Horn. It's my assistant. She left to gather soil, and I've seen nothing of her since. Now this is my I kind of side quest. Concentrate one whit for fear of what might have happened. Please, I beg of you. Will you go and check? Yeah. I have to know. Of course I will, yes. Hi, Darren. Thanks for being a 31 monther. I'm a few hours well, past you, Kyle. How are you enjoying you. it? About to go play some more. Stopping by to say, time, oh, love this game. Me too. Whereabouts is she? Gotan's Bales. It's on the outskirts of Lostwig. Not the safest place for an unaccompanied bearer, perhaps, but the soil there is second to none. Now go, and do not linger. Why, it may already be too late. Yeah, so I would need, like, somebody in game dev to explain it to me. From what I gather, there's, like, three different levels of cutscene. Maybe four. Um, and then there was that really weird fade to black in the middle of that scene with Jill, right? Where, like, we went from level three down to level two. And I don't understand why that happened mid-conversation. So we had music and higher production level on a conversation and then it just kind of like dipped uh to finish the conversation it is not bonito time oh it is getting close isn't it brother but it's not time priorities yeah i just don't understand the idea of like mid script being like okay and right here is when we transition to simpler cutscene. They cut explaining the story we already knew. So you really think that was just a flash forward? That was him saying, yeah, 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 I got Avery now. I'd buy that. Oh, there's oh. our Moogle. Sorry, what it be? Oh, what will it be? A guy I play, please. Craft me a Oh, yeah, blade. Not bad, if I do say so myself. Shoot. I need a minotaur main. I killed so many hey. minotaurs. Fine. So, Mucho, this is this is a Moogle right there. Its name is Nectar. Yeah, that's that's a Moogle right there. Yep. And so its whole deal is it just like it just flies around. It speaks a language that nobody else understands. Mucho, it's just on the, it's just on the TV. <laughs> He's reaching for it, bro. <laughs> He's reaching for the Moogle. It's just on the TV. It's not an actual creature. 
Do you see it now? Do you get it? You get it now? Yeah, the Moogle's gone. I feel like he's starting to understand what makes video games good, though. That's nice. This is Kenneth. Oh, Clive, I trust you're settling. I in? don't like Kenneth. Gradually getting used to the place. I'm glad to hear it. I was hoping you might be persuaded to come to my aid once more. Your services will be rewarded, of course. I don't doubt it. Seems to be the way around here. We strive to be better than those we once served. Now, as to the task itself, I am once again in need so of a pair of hands to deliver sustenance to our esteemed companions. And I have three meals cut. for we'll three industrious Clive. souls. What say you? This is Clive. This is our character. I'd be happy to help. And it sounds like we're just like marvelous. We're just gonna take some the like three stew individuals and drop it off you'll be seeking again? out are busying themselves about the hideaway. Yeah, at least this time it sounds like they're not You'll in the restaurant. You'll find one by the entrance, like another in the bunks, stew. and the other guarding the cells. To Thank people around this whole again, uh, Clive. home base. Yeah, we can't reach that from here. We just don't have enough teams to follow everyone. Something smells good. For me, I hope. It is. For you? Courtesy of Kenneth. Courtesy of Kenneth. Oh, my thanks. These birds are needy creatures. They don't like me running off to the fat chocobo behind their backs. <laughs> I feel like she's got a more human-like face than most of the characters in this game. Busy. Ah, there's never a moment's rest. Probably for the best I eat down here, reeking of the staples as I do. That's a nice I don't face. Put people off their food. And who has time to wash and dress for dinner when they've got little darlings like these to wait upon, eh? Anyway, thanks for the food, and be sure to give Kenneth my regards. I don't know, he's turned his back to the game. I think he's checked out. And making a point of it. Oi. Chayla. Back so soon? Fancied another kip in the cells, did you? Can I send me? He thought you might be hungry. He wasn't wrong. The way my gut's been growling, I'd have curls running scared. <laughs> Guard duty down here can't be much fun. It's not. But sometimes folk need locking up, and someone has to watch over them. I help people sleep at night, and that's not a boast many can make. You keep yourself on the right side of these bars now, you hear me? Okay. Nah, he's done. He was really into that mogul, though. Can I help you? Kenneth sent me. Here's your stew. No, no, no. I just kicked the kick Wonderful. chicken aside. I didn't step you on hear it. hear that? Our food has arrived. Does your appetite still elude you? Is he sick? I'm afraid so. Those no longer in need of a physica's immediate ministrations are sent here for further rest. Are you rest. not indeed? I tend to those who cannot tend to themselves. Are you not which indeed? Gives me very little time for anything else. Happily, Kenneth sees that I stay fed. I would be lost without the kindness of good people like him and yourself. Thank you. 
I think that's everyone. Can I get Noya for but coming in second to the Digimon TCG I Store Championship good. tonight? Hell yeah. But thank you. Yeah, there's a new set out, right? Oh, yeah. I gotta buy some cards tonight, dude. All right, Kenneth, I did your shit again. We're looking at half a dozen. Maybe more. Ah, you're back. All done? We'll determine end of stream tomorrow whether we're doing yeah. a full playthrough or your not. Your reward, as promised. The hideaway is quite something. Everyone has their place. A fact we are proud of, believe me. I'm glad you've witnessed it for yourself. You uh, have Kenneth, your place are you trying too, to teach course, me something? As you have just so capably proven, and you will always have a place with us, should you desire it. It's kind of you to say so. It is the truth, and not a soul among us would deny it. I look forward to all that you will bring to our little community. I have to say, this shit's not working on me. Another gill bug? Come on, dude. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't feel that attached to this place. It does. It has not successfully felt homey yet, which I think is the intent of like a quest like that. Ooh, look how cool her sword is now. It's almost like Sid's. What do you want? What do you want? To say farewell. I can check in with Holmes. Good decision. Better that than buried out there in the black. You've got a lot to thank that girl for, you know. I know. And I will. Now. What do you really want? We both know you don't come here for conversation. It's true, Karen. Nah, you've only got shit, Karen. Reduces Rook's Gambit cooldown by 2.7 seconds. That's so good, dude. That's so good. We don't play those cards, though. I'm dying it, dude. It'd better all be here. You're rubbing me blind, you know. You'll not find a better price. Off you go, then. I'm best of luck. Best of luck. I should probably say thank you to Gav, too. No, all right. I'm not going to say thank you to Gav right now. We're side questing. I got to go find that person lost in the woods. What do you think is more important right now, Clive? Come on, man. Sell your bugs? Yeah, we could sell some bugs. We actually, I mean, we don't need to buy anything right now. Oh, this is cool. This is the place that was nighttime last time we were here. Check ability points. Hell yeah. <laughs> On my way. Someone's in trouble. On my way. Gosh, I don't know if we've seen this before, this little red wall there. That's interesting. Bring it on. Shit. 
Valley Matter. All right. Are you hurt? It would have been worse if you hadn't come along. Wait, uh, I've seen you around the hideaway. You're new, aren't you? He can say I'm Clive. And I'm Martel. But what are you doing here? Looking for you. This is no place for a bearer on her own. I noticed that. But this soil's not going to collect itself. Then what if I gathered it for you? You could head back to the hideaway. Just exactly what sort of dirt is it that you need? We're what I need dirt. is soil. Oh, man, but I'd be a fool to refuse your help after what just happened. It's the good stuff you're looking for. Practically Dark, a king! rich, fragrant. You'll know it when you find it. Dark, rich, and fragrant. Come on now. Right. You are a prince of ashes. Well, you should hurry back. Bohemil seemed worried enough that he might come looking for you himself. That seems unlikely, but I won't argue with you. Okay. Thanks. I'll use my animal instincts. Soil, then. There's certainly enough of it here. But is it dark, rich, and fragrant? Dark and rich, but not fragrant. <sighs> rich and fragrant, but not dark. Dark and fragrant, but not rich. <laughs> now we're gaming. This is so silly, this bro. Enough. That's a silly quest. Back to the Are the side quest rewards even worth it? So far, they have been. So far, they've been pretty nice. Should have thanked Gav instead, I know, Chad. There you are. And all safe and sound. Oh. Yes, yeah, she's standing right there. Not the girl. The soil. Oh. Did no. you bring it? Oh. Uh, yes. Here. Damn. He doesn't care about her. Glorious! When Martel came home empty-handed, I almost had a fit. Okay. With this, with this, my research can continue. First and foremost come the measurements. I must know how much ether each sample contains. From there... Wait, so you were never... Worried about me? Sorry to disappoint you, but the only thing he worries about is his research. But that's... It's all right. It's just how he is. How do you like and those interruptions? If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be growing anything in these ruins. It's a small price to pay. Although you shouldn't have to pay it too. Did he even offer you anything for helping? Ugh. Here. I know it's not much, but it's something at least. I wish I could offer you some fruit too, but you're not likely to thank me if I do. Still. We'll grow something worth eating one of these days, and when we do, you'll have first pick. I feel like that guy is the, um, the producer self-insert. More valley matter. All right. Now, my research can continue apace, and when my fertilizer is complete... <laughs> They have this blonde woman come in and defend him. You know what I mean? She's like, well, if he wasn't that pushy and uncaring, none of this stuff would get done. So really, it's good that he's like that. So your mind's made up, is it? We'll be leaving for Rosaria as soon as we're able. Back down memory lane, eh? Rosaria ain't what she used to be. Clive, not since the Imperials moved in. First sign of trouble, you make straight for Martha's rest and ask for the landlady. She's a friend of the cause. Tell her you with Sid, and she'll help you out. Understood. Those three ponytails, bro. 
I'd be lost without you. Yeah, I'm just doing my job. No need to make such a fuss. Everyone loves Gath. You take care, all right? Oh, I'm crap at goodbyes. Where's Sid when you need him? Give him my regards when he gets back. I will. What Sorry a to keep woman. You waiting. Ready, my lady. Ready. So whose rest uh, do we go to in case of emergency? Ooh, look at that tower. The Fallen are cool. No, that was not chat being easy. That was chat playing along. There's a difference. Rosaria. It's been 13 years. But this breeze, the smell of the grass, it's just as I remember it. You haven't been back either. I couldn't. Brand did keep a close watch on each other in the Imperial Army. You'd get beheaded just for knowing a deserter. The only way out was on a mission. I see. But mostly I was afraid. Afraid to go back. learning to forgive himself. Thanks to you. Cool area to explore. Hell yeah. Let's press on, baby. Homecoming. Yeah, we can we can take a peep at our skills, Chad. I what what I want really bad is like a, a summon I like really want to invest in. So it looks like eight. Not to me. Yeah, it looks like eight. It looks like there will be eight slots. Sure. You know what I mean? I don't want I don't want to spend my ability points on Garuda. Which is the one that said, like, you can use it on... Oh, Laz the Summon. Damn, it's Wicked Wheel. That one sucks. I'm saving up for this shit. I'm saving up, dude. I'm saving up. Look how cool that is. I'm saving up for that. All right. If you insist. It's just 40 for this stuff down here. Yeah, but this is actually worth it. And this too. No, I don't care about that. Okay. All right. Then we'll keep it's saving up. His rest. Gav said the landlady's a friend. Read chat, please. You can refund points for free. Okay. Imperials don't tend to take well to those with my mark. If anyone asks, I'm a branded soldier. Doesn't change shit for me, chat. to protect my noble mistress. Look at the fuse on this one. Explains why there's a premium on Imperials. 
What does Thuz mean? Maybe I should up your rations, build you up a bit. I bet you'd love another bowl of math as best, wouldn't you? Chat, I missed some of the dialogue there. Who, who is, who's best? Look at that big horn. This thing's gonna fuck us up, dude. How tall are you? Oh, I see. I was doing gouging in the air. Did not mean to do that. I didn't even notice we got it uh, down halfway. That's my bad. Nine one eight four. We're still. We're still. So much ramp up on that one. Sorry, I'm like I'm still like I don't know what's going on anymore. We lost the deadly embrace. Bucking Bronco, check that out. Get a boy. This is fun. This is a, this is this is some good Final Fantasy shit right here. I like that. Just a big, dumb, slow enemy that's got a ton of HP. Oh, yeah. Charge the blade. I forgot to try it. Look at these clay cross. There it is. Yeah, so you can charge it while, like, time is slowed down and shit. That's awesome. These are enemies. Yeah, that's sick, chat. It's over. Stay down. Oh, that's so nasty. Oh. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Yeah, I know. I know. It's a, we're going to have a weird time to end the stream. Because I just started picking up some pinches of magical ash out here in the open world. Damn. Hell yeah. Come here, you craze. This is what I needed. I was feeling very discouraged, bro. You know what to do, boy. That's enough. Stay down. Just felt like super suboptimal and everything, you know what I mean? And then it's like, it's okay to be suboptimal. Look at this. Just fucking beat up those little crayfish out here. 
you, game. Thank you for giving me some easy to kill crayfish. Appreciate that. Someone's saying the um, map designer of Final Fantasy XV did this game too. Map design of FF15 is nice. Smartski, thanks for being a 37 month. Side quest out there. Enemies are just weird things. Are you just weird things? No! They're just called antelopes. <laughs> They're just called antelopes. Damn. Sorry, antelopes. Ooh. Okay, we gotta hope that there's some big nasty gator that comes to us in the swamp. Pray for gator. More craze. Garuda, come on now! Okay, so yeah, don't bother with Garuda shit. That's enough. No stagger to worry about there, you know? Not really worth it. Coming, Jill! I'm coming, I'm coming! There's one that's alive behind you still. Sorry, Torgal. Hell yeah. All right, where's the gator? It's more of a God of War thing. Yeah, 100%. If we're playing God of War, something jumps out of that water. Uh, You're a fool to think you don't come back here later for a boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Side quest boss. No question. Look at this big arena. Malboros are usually a form of morbles. Now they are the same thing. Oh, I thought it was just like a unique word this game decided to assign to them. They never finished building the bridge then. After what happened at Phoenix Gate, it didn't seem the highest priority. Look at that village up ahead. Oi! Oi! Stop and give me an hand. Uh, I don't know, Rowan. Promise me you're not a bad guy. Couldn't give me an iron, could you? Yeah, you're bad. Giga claim, no question. Bloody bearer. Just when I thought my luck had changed. Oh, okay, bro. A of crystal than an empty hand, I suppose. Just called us a bloody bearer. Pains me to use another man's branded. Here, you understand me, don't you? I need your help. This is These funny. These blasted bursts must have caught whiff of my cargo, and now they've got me surrounded. <laughs> it's really late as it was. <laughs> I've got something special needs delivering before the rest, but I dare not leave my cart untended. You couldn't run it up to Martha's rest for me, could you? Needs to get there a quick mind. Yeah. Fine. You got it. That's the spirit. All right. Here. You hand that to the stable master and no one else. I'm owed a little something for it. If he gives it to you, pass it along to your master by way of thanks. Be off with you then, and don't go taking any detours on the way. Very funny. Very funny. What a bird wants. He's got some gashal greens or something, dude. What a bird gets. Shit, we gotta fight those gobbies. Stop saying quit. <laughs> oh yeah, look at these gobbies. Fight me! Go oh, okay. I was actually hoping to get the spellcast. Yeah, I paid for it too. 
No, 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 stop doing that thing. Shit. Can't go through the bushes, dude. It's okay, Polar took care of it. Wrong thing, wrong thing, shit, 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 shit. I could have healed up there. Better already. Better already. Tan sharp fangs. Hi, hi. Look at this big dead beast, dude. What a face. What a face. Look at its gobby ears. Hell yeah. Alright, we gotta find a good stopping point, huh? We do. Alright, do you see that 255 yards? Whatever that is, we'll stop there. We'll take care of that shit. There's no way to climb up there. Okay. This is nice looking. Holy shit. Optimizing like charging up your blade, I think, could be really fun. Flanks to me. I think getting that down, that'd be so fun to learn. No quarrel with the antelopes. They're just doing their thing. This is awesome, dude. Hell yeah. This is what we've been needing tonight. This is a nice environment. Get over here! Get over here! Oh shit, there's more. Oh, that's, they both died from that thing, dude. 
Good shit, Torgal. Good shit. All right, we're going to have to unfortunately let that big horn live. Nah, you're good, big horn. You're fine. No Elden Ring screenshot button moments yet. Yeah, you know what? I think because none of it feels that personalized. That's one of our branded. I do at the same time feel like we're having the same adventure anybody else would be having, you know? Are you the stable master? I was asked to deliver this to you. I feel like this game's uh, best moments are this in motion. Really, right enough. Not sure what some bearer is doing bringing it to me, though. Where's that fool of a peddler got to? He couldn't come himself. His cart's surrounded by wild chocobos. Hmm. Huh. Sounds about right. Yeah. Have it full of Gizal greens, no doubt. Gizal, you say? Him, okay. I know him. Gizal greens. Chocobos go mad for them, don't they? That's funny. We smelled. We smelled that. We sniffed that one out. Tight, Nuri too fast. It's being a twenty-one month -er. Birds come running from miles around. It's actually a pretty damn wrong. good action game. I was expecting more FF15. I'll merchant. probably get this. Yeah, it's Especially an action game. Parts. But you can't get greedy, as our mutual friend is learning the hard way. Still, I got my wares, and that's all that matters. Be sure to pass your master my regards. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, I'm sure I'll do that. What a bird wants. Paltry XP, bro. Come on now. Oof. Brother. So slick. I said that was the end. Yep, we're going to stick by the promise. Okay, chat, we'll pick up right there. Right at that moment. We'll pick up right at that exact same moment we just saw tomorrow. Save. Nope. Tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern time. We're picking right up there. Look at that little RPG party we've assembled. Happy meter check-in? Yeah, I think it's a little higher. I think some really good shit happened since the last time we checked in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we're almost at having a good time. Hell yeah. Almost 10 hours? Oh, shoot. Yeah, you gotta count demo time. I guess we are pretty deep into the game. Am I hyped for tomorrow now that we're here in the game? Yes, yes. I'm glad. I'm glad we got through... And somebody else brought it up like uh, the hooded figure didn't stay hooded for too long. That could have been a mess. We didn't need to see that happening for too long. As a player. Obviously, I think it'll still be a minute before Clive gets to see who that hooded figure was. If I can compare 16 to FF9, which one is better? Final Fantasy IX. I'm not even sure if this will be, like, the best, like, 3D Final Fantasy, but it's nice so far. Looking forward to a specific summon. Um. Alright, well, I feel like the idea that, hey, there could be two fires already opens the door for the fact that, like, maybe you don't get all of the ones that you've seen. Um... Titan they showed early. I feel like Titan is in the very first trailer for this. We see him doing Titan swipes. So that, I feel like that one's a lock. Um, and so all of them after that, I'm extremely curious about. Ramu and Shiva have been seen in game. That's true. That's true. And then Bahama and Odin have been seen. Yep. There's no guarantee we get all of those, obviously. 
And Phoenix, of course. Yeah, we have Phoenix powers already, yep. Which is crazy. I guess we don't have any Afrit powers. So if that's an eight, that's kind of a bummer. If you actually, if you get, if you like have Phoenix and Ifrit, yeah, that's kind of a bummer. But if it is, if that's it, that's it. I'll accept it and deal with it. How's it compare with Final Fantasy VII Remake? I vibe with with Seven Remake way more than I vibe with this game. This game is a rush. This game is well directed. This game is uh, unique. This game is it's pulling off everything it's trying to pull. But, uh, you know, I just like that world of seven more. Happy to be there. Happy to have a cast. Seven remake pacing is god awful. Thing is, like, uh, any anytime you, like, say, hey, go, go do whatever you want, I'm going to do as much as possible. You know what I mean? So, like, pacing in a game like that for me is, like, awesome. I love the pacing of seven remake. How long will FF16 be remembered? Longer than Red Dead Redemption 2? Red Dead Redemption 2 is still remembered today. But I definitely I feel like I feel like it's more remembered as like an achievement. You know what I mean? How often do people talk about the best missions in Red Dead Redemption 2? How often do they talk about the mission design, you know? Um, to me, it seems infrequent. So, like, uh, it'll, be, it'll be remembered for different reasons. It's like, yeah, you remember those sad scenes from Red Dead Redemption 2? You remember the handful of good ones? Yeah, I remember the handful of good ones. Remember how big that map is? Yeah, I remember that. Beautiful. It is. Beautiful nature in Red Dead Redemption 2. I don't have much nice to say about it, game design-wise. Super Mario RPG will not be RPG of the year. No. No way. No way, no how. Not happening. Not on my watch. Will they add a new playable character to Super Mario RPG? Will they do it? I'm going to say no. I'm going to say it's like... Highly faithful. Here's the thing. They could even they could even do new outfits this time. They could add new outfits. They could add like visible like weapon changes and stuff, but they won't. <laughs> It'd be so cool. Boshi has joined the party. Oh my god, could you imagine? How grim and stoic is FF16 compared to other Final Fantasy chapters? This game is like what people think Final Fantasy 3 and 6 are like. When people talk to you about how good old Final Fantasies used to be, they like they're imagining it like Final Fantasy 16 is, but like not actually what those games actually textually are, you know? No games are close to as grim as this game is. Will I be able to jump 100 times at the start for that one item? I didn't know you could do that. What do you get? Hell yeah. If that was like a hidden thing, they'll keep that. They could add Luigi. Even adding Luigi would be huge. <laughs> FF6 with the Magisite stuff is pretty grim. I'm telling you, it's not grim. FF6 is a Saturday morning cartoon. What Final Fantasy would I remake next? Nine. They're, they are remaking nine next, and that is the one that I would remake next. Easy. And then one. I would do one and just, like, make it, like, a, a mono painting. Like, Gargoyles. Gargoyles is pretty grim. All right, chat. We're just, we're just stalling now. So, uh, tomorrow, 6 p.m. Eastern time is our start time. We'll pick up right there. I'm looking forward to it. 
I'm happy with what we got to play today. Yeah, I think they were like losing me for a minute there. I was like kind of like uh shocked about like, you know, I don't know. It felt like the story was bumbling for a minute after the rush of like what you play in the demo, right? It was intentional. It was to like cool you in, settle you down, get you used to the pace of the rest of the game. And then um we hit a combat hiccup there where I'm like, I feel like I'm not doing the right shit. And then uh I feel like we're fine out uh, fine again. It bumbles again, you've been warned. Okay, but like don't. Stop warning me. Uh in the remake, is there anything you would change in Final Fantasy IX? Um Yeah, I would probably like take out the entire character of Aiko. I'd probably just take her out. Keep Amarant. <laughs> Give Amarant much more screen time. At the sacrifice of Echo. I feel like it was just that one Dragoon, right? No, I also died to Gerudo. What I need to remember is any opportunity I have, get full potions up. Because I feel like in both of those cases, I probably could have done it if I had full potions. Fuse them into one character. Now this I like. This is good storytelling. You're right. Uh, they'll, they'll play both purposes if we just combine them into one character. Replace Echo with a Moogle. That works too. I like that. Honestly, I really dig her shit once you go and like find out that she's like from the summoner tribe and like there's all the cool paintings and like what's so good like when we replayed through ff9 still you can't really see what's on those walls you know what i mean like they have paintings of summons and you can't really like make them out the idea of like a remake where you can see that shit is really appealing honestly a part of a super mario rpg is like some of those bosses i can't even like tell what they're supposed to be so the idea of remaking them is kind of nice too. You're even even in that trailer you're like, "Oh. Okay. I get that now." <laughs> Will they fix Tetra Master? No. Nope. Same rules. Same rules, please. No, I, I would actually like if they keep it a turn-based battle system. I wouldn't want much change from that at all. Learning new spells from your equipment is so fun in FF9. And that kind of... I feel like that works best if it is a turn-based battle game. Because, yeah, that's another thing. I don't know. We'll talk about this tomorrow when we're talking about this game more. Is that, like, I really don't feel incentivized right now to learn new spells... If you have this one up here and you say, Kyle, if you save up, if you're patient, you'll have this crazy spell that does crazy damage. I'm going to save up. But if it was at the end of a skill tree, it's like, Kyle, you got to get all this stuff first. Then I would obviously, you know, be unlocking more moves. Oh my gosh, leveling up swords in 7 Remake. So cool. Really, really cool. Love that shit. Everybody. Everybody's got equipment you level up. So fun. Um, No, I have no idea who's developing Super Mario RPG. I don't think they've even said. <laughs> They're just allowed to announce stuff like that. Yeah, we can do Bonito. We'll do Bonito and then we'll we'll sign off. I feel like uh, it was, I was not intending to tease him, but I feel like I teased Mucho a little bit when we were looking at that Moogle. That seemed cruel in, in a weird way. I don't know why. All right, bro. There you go. God, it's, so, it's just like fish food. It's so nasty. Wu-Tang Dan, thanks for being a 36 mother. Congrats on three years. Can I get Mucho a Moogle plush? I don't think you would I don't think you would like the toy, no. 
I don't think he'd be into it. He likes uh he likes little scrappy toys, but he doesn't like big things. All right, chat. Thank you so much. Super fun Friday. Uh, tomorrow, absolutely more. And then uh, more streams to come in the weeks to come. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a good night. It's a robot party. It's a robot party. It's a robot party. It's a robot party. Tie your shoes. It's a robot party. Pet the dog. It's a robot party. Collect the clues. It's a robot party. No eggnog. It's a robot party. Safety first. It's a robot party.